Purple gang gang Purple baby. Gang. Purple gang gang. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Happy Saturday. We hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> Where did my uh, face hair go? Did I donate it? Maybe not. Is mm -hmm. it on the floor in Van's bathroom? Quite possibly. Pubes Who everywhere, y'all. No, that's not what we were talking about. Face pubes. Face pubes. There we that's are. right. Anyways, happy Catterday. Good to see you, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for helping us with our drive to 500 subscribers tonight. We've got lots of great giveaways, and uh, we've been talking about it, and it seems like we may have too many giveaways. So maybe we'll spread out our awesome 500 subscriber giveaway over two weeks. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's right, folks. Y'all got some serious love coming to you two weeks in a row. But actually, each and every day, but especially yeah. the next two weeks. Live your best life. Give, yeah. give more than you take. That's what we're here for. That's what it's and about. And speaking about giving more than you're taking, shout out to our sponsors. Oh, my goodness gracious. Is that, is that Wolf King? I think that customs. is looking Lynn LaGuardia. Oh. Oh. So uh, we actually have some pretty awesome stuff going on tonight with Wolf King Customs. There might or might not be a special discount code that'll get you 20% off live at this very moment. And there might be some new head sculpts coming out Monday. So anything is possible. You gotta you gotta like think to yourself. Do I do I buy my order tonight and get that 20% off? Or, or do I risk it and wait until Monday for these new heads to drop and get 20% off them? That's mm, up to you. That's a choice. It's a gamble. But you know what? We love gambling. Shout out to our new sponsor, DraftKings. Yes. Um, just kidding. We're not sponsored by gambling. We don't support that. And if, right if now, you have an issue with gambling, call the uh, 800 line. 1-800-STOP-GAMBLING. Yeah, stop gambling, yeah, uh, right. Hashtag no. Mm -hmm. But right now, effective immediately, drop the promo code PURPLE on WolfKingCustoms.com. It'll get you 20% off site-wide. That's available for everything that's in stock right now. Bundle kits, heads, figures <laughs> in general. Like, let's go. And um, if you drop ad, if you drop shooting the shelf sent me in the notes at the checkout, you'll probably get hooked up with a free gift as well. So what are you waiting for? Rumor has it. I am not a youth pastor. I could be, though. I played one in a, a made-for-TV movie. All right. If we're taking a shot at youthful appearance, Jordan, I'm going to go ahead and piss him off and just say, after the show, everybody Google Evan Stone Pirates. That's all I got to say. Pirates was the highest production value adult entertainment film of all time. Mm -hmm. And I may or may not have been a... Stunt cop. A uh, extra on that film. So uh, back to Wolf King Customs. What do we got here? Oh my goodness oh. gracious! Is that a oh, brand oh. new Wolf King head sculpt? I'll be getting that. You know what? I will too. I'm gonna dry brush that so hard. What are you gonna dry brush it with? Paint. Paint. Yep. That's exactly what I would do, Van. Well done, sir. Yeah. Ooh, is there more? Is there more? There might be more. Oh my goodness. More? Oh, is that a pirate leg oh. and a dope pirate saber that would look absolutely amazing mm. with the uh, Dread Pirate Johnson head sculpt What's that the, Wolf King Customs dropped? There's a Dread last Pirate month? Johnson. If if it's almost as if I have it, that whole set painted up over somewhere. Is that maybe. the same head sculpt or is it a completely different head sculpt? Because mm. sometimes you like to live in your head and you like to live in denial and you just don't like to see the things that are in front of you. So is mm. that the same exact head as you painted? Or is um, it a brand new one with less jaw? Let's ask the jury. We're not going to ask the jury. We don't have a jury. We're not in we court right now. No, I'll absolutely do better not. Than that. I can't even find the head right now. 
So Van can't find his head. It never happened. He can't find his marbles. He can't find his head. And most importantly, the glove don't fit. You must have quit. So That's how it works. Shout out Van for not being able to find what he just got up and looked for. Not organized. He's not. Yep. But, um, you know, Monday, mm. this dope pirate leg and this dope pirate saber will be available on WolfKingCustoms.com. That's a super fun set. And don't forget to drop that promo code PURPLE. And in the comments, let them know that Shooting the Shelf sent you. Ack, 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 ack. <laughs> so we have this absolutely wonderful Mars Attacks mm. Alien Purple Brain Brain Head Sculpt. That's also going live on Monday. Mm, I'll be getting that. What would you do with it? Go hit that shit with some paint. You're going to dry brush it? Mm, I might go a little more in depth than just the dry brushing. Dry brushing for the uh Dry brushing brains. and washes? Yes. Dry Especially on the brain. Washes. And what are these uh, super awesome kitty cat heads Meow. over here? Oh, my goodness. What would you do with those? Hmm, I would feed them meow mix, and I would stroke their fur lovingly. Meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. It will. Uh, hey, gentlemen, <clears throat> just want to throw out there uh, that one that you just had on the screen, the uh, with the cat hood thing. Yeah. Um, I saw Jesse print, paid up one of those uh, to put on the Tharnog on the brute scale, and it looked really good um, in green. So just FYI. Curtis, if you have that photo, let's pull it up. I'll see if I can find it. It was at Mesquicom. I don't know if I got one of it, but if I can, I'll, I'll throw it on here on the show. So, okay, that's very cool. Um, yep. you know, we really wish we were at Mesquite Barbecue Con, but we didn't make it. Oh, yeah. So, if you have that photo, pull it up when you get a chance. Just pop in, let us know. Banana pudding. Gotcha. I'll be All backstage. Right. See you guys. Appreciate you, Curtis. Ooh, wait a second here. Is there a rhino head? Oh my, not that... the bar. What was the name of the rhino in um, the Black Panther? Frankie. Yeah, Frankie the Rhino. Frankie the Rhino. Is this scale for brute scale? I think it is. Oh, look at that. Does that hose fit into his head? Shite. Lynn is going to take all my money. Yeah. By design. You were talking about the Rhino earlier, and, and I'm like, oh, yeah, Rhino. And now I see it. Yeah. So now that you see it. You didn't tell me Cosmic Rhino. I think I did, though. You might have. I think I did. So anyways, this head sculpt is going to be available this Monday. Don't be a fool. Buy it. Don't live your life in regret. Buy that rhino head. Oh, my goodness. What oh. is this? How would you describe it, Van? Um, if Marge Simpson embraced her love for Satan and um, testosterone. One, two, three, four, five head. Mm-hmm. Four horns. Big beard. Skeletons. Brett Stoddard, if you're listening, is this skeleton enough for you? Or is the forehead too big? Let oh. us know in the comments. So, so yeah, I didn't hit with the Marge Simpson satanic. No, gear, I, gotcha. I definitely feel the, the Marge vibes. Carney, yeah. I definitely okay. feel the Marge vibes, but I feel like this is so I'm also much catching, more. what was the, uh, anybody in the comments, uh, I'm going to date myself here, the Flintstones, where they would go to their little clubhouse and they, they would wear those hats. And it's yeah. basically like a moose lodge, but prehistoric in the Flintstones. Shout out to the Freemasons huh. in the Flintstones um, canon. Yeah. They're not listening. Loyal order of the water buffalo. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Andy's the man. Andy is the man. Yes, he, he is. He knows everything. I think it was the plastic podcast journey where I, I dropped in the comments that Andy knows everything. He does. Stay alert. Stay alive. Who there you go. Shout out, Andy. You're Turn around. Don't peoples. drown. Never heard that one before. Can you yeah. elaborate? Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Every time there's some flash flooding, and, and I shouldn't laugh, that's very insensitive of me, but every time there's some flash flooding, inevitably there is this one individual that is Dar Darwinian, but uh, they decide, Ooh, I want my cheeseburger. I'm going to go ahead and drive through this, you know, roaring rapids. And lo and behold, their car gets swept up and they drown. So now whenever there's flash floods in our area, the newscasters come on, don't drown. Turn around and you know it rhymes, so you got to listen. I mean, that it, it, it puts power on it. I do what I want. It's magical. Nope, 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 nope. Do not drown. Turn around. Enough I can, said. I can swim and I can float. Mm. Ooh, is there more? Oh my goodness gracious. This head right here, I believe this is a shout out and a special tribute head for our good friend, 
Maverick for showing up every Sunday in the Curtis Customizing Studio, sponsored by Wolf King Studios. I know Maverick. He's a good guy. He's an absolutely wonderful human being, and he has been supportive, doing absolutely wonderful customizing work, not only in painting, but in making absolutely awesome uh, cosplay pieces with foam. His Red Death was oh, absolutely wonderful. So, you know, if you're not doing anything on Sundays, typically we start at about, what is it, 1 p.m. on Facebook. You shoot Curtis Ackerman a message. You say, hey, Curtis, I want in. And he knows exactly what to do from there. So all you got to do is message Curtis, let him know you want in. And even if you're not a good painter, even if you're not a great painter, even if you just want to hang out and maybe get some motivation to start painting, message Curtis, let him know you want in. And tell him shooting the shelf sent you. If you tell him that, he has to invite you. That's yeah, that's absolutely the way it works. You're halfway there. And if Curtis ignores you, just message one of us and we'll we be you. happy to bypass bypass the chain of command and get you into that customizing studio because it's a wonderful place to be. It's been known to happen. Imagine Legion's chat, but with um everybody that's in there is an artist and is wholesome and uh it's great. There's no no tacos. It's never bad medicine. Just say that. Oh my goodness. Did I go too far? So definitely check out these awesome head sculpts. We just showed up right now. Shout out Lynn wolfkingcustoms.com. Drop the promo code purple. And uh, in the comments, make sure you say shooting the shelf sent you. That way you get 20% off site wide and you get a free gift. Glitter bomb. What, what, what else is there to do? Kick in their neighbor's door and, and rifle through their clothing until you find the finest of flannels and just tell them shooting the shelf sent you. Yeah. And while you're kicking in your neighbor's door, stealing their flannel in the name of shooting the shelf, make sure you uh, snatch their phone out of their hands, their pockets. When CPI comes over the speaker and tells you to leave the house, you say, this is my house now. Shooting the shelf deeded it to me. Look at me. Shooting the shelf sent me. But, you know, go ahead and hit that uh, like uh, and subscribe button on their phones for the Purple Gang Gang channel. That's what it's all about. It's absolutely what it's about. So shout out to all of you uh, with your shenanigans and uh, shout out Shooting the Shelf. Shooting the Shelf tomorrow. They're going to have a pretty awesome guest. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Shout Rumor out Nira. Mm -hmm. Tune in tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on YouTube on at Just Shelve It for some absolutely wonderful, wholesome She's content. delightful. Super delightful. Sweetheart. Hashtag Absolutely. rising star. Indeed. And uh, can we also talk about the Toy Forge? Uh, Who? I, I, you know, you know. Anthony Who? House Hill, the king under the mountain. Who? The Toy Forge. Who? The Muffin Man. I know him. Yep. He lives on Drury Lane. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Shut up, Toy Forge. Not my gumdrop buttons. Not his gumdrop buttons. But uh, Toy Forge also has an absolutely amazing sale that's coming up April 12th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Times. There's been some pretty amazing drops uh, the past couple weeks. We covered it last week. We got this absolutely amazing Dryad set here on the left. We have this absolutely amazing Diver set on the right. And I do apologize, uh, Anthony. I, I didn't uh, screen grab your wonderfully painted uh, diver set. Yeah. But uh, maybe we can find that later. Light up head, it on the screen. like D, Curtis, deep six. Curtis, slash, find that. Get that ready, Code too. Lavender, Curtis. We need that Find picture. that. Find that for later, too. Yeah. So, yeah, dryad set, diver set. Oh, my goodness, the bunny set. And uh, something that came out this week, we got these dope dwarf boots. So, shout out to a hashtag dwarf fans. We've got bunny heads, dwarf boots, Triad sets and minor sets. Yep. You don't want to miss out on these. April 12th, noon. Shell tops for your dwarfs. Yeah. That's uh, what they are. Yeah, no, they're definitely, uh, yeah, those are Adidas shell tops. I think next week there might be some Crocs coming your way. Oh, Crocs. Croc, 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 Crocs. Croc, 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 Crocs. Um, let's just go ahead and get into it. I want to give something away. What are you talking about? I want to give something away. We're not giving away stuff. Yeah, we are tonight. We're going to start, this is the beginning, we're going to start with these two fine gentlemen. If you know about Nickelodeon, if you know about NECA, 
If you know about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then you know about Rasputin and Genghis. After being accidentally exposed to radioactive ooze, four ordinary household pets are transformed into a band of wisecracking, pizza-loving, villain, dicing, adolescent reptiles. Meet Leonardo. This has absolutely nothing to do with what is in the box. Why in the hell would they set me up for failure and have me reading that? Uh, my apologies. My apologies. We, we don't do any preparation. I just went right into reading, and it does not say shit about either of these characters in the uh, description. So I'm just going to go ahead and say what we have here are two. I'm going to say a couple of frogs that went down to uh, Panama Beach for spring break. Um, let's see. They're balding, so they... They're probably in their mid forties. They're trying to recapture their youth. Uh, this one's busted out of his pants. Uh, I guarantee you they're hitting on like eighteen year old girls. They've had too much to drink. Um, one of them's purple. Yeah, yeah, he's purple. So yeah. Which one's purple? What's the purple one's name? Hell if I know. I'm gonna say Genghis because they put uh, they put Genghis in purple and they put Rasputin in orange, which uh, that that has to do with their shirts. Maybe I don't know. He can't die. Nope. He cannot. Rasputin cannot die. And you know another fun fact about Rasputin that we're not going to discuss? No. But there is a fun fact about Rasputin. We shouldn't discuss it. Yep. So, yeah. Put in the uh, old hashtag tomato pie frogs. And if somebody's out there can screenshot that uh, hashtag, be much appreciated. And whenever we come across a winner, if you would hash, if you would screenshot that too. What? Yeah. I'm, I'm entering the giveaway. Don't judge me. Go for it. No, it's fine. It's funny. I've I've got the uh is it Napoleon and somebody in the uh comments, Napoleon and what was the other frog? I've got them chilling downstairs unless Logan stole them from me. He he's prone to stealing. I, I don't know where he gets it from. I, you know, I'm trying to raise them honest, but you can only do so much with children. Curtis, big shout out. There it so, is. A little throwback to about one minute and 48 seconds ago. We asked Curtis to pull up this absolutely wonderful painted diver set that's going to be available at the uh, toy forge spring drop on april 12th at noon this is the diver set that our good friend anthony painted up my apologies for an interruption i see a uh, jeremy govier in the chat oh my goodness gracious can oh we get goodness. some purple hearts to uh jeremy govier uh today is is it not his day of birth happy birthday day to you happy birthday jeremy Happy birthday, dear Jeremy. Happy birthday to you and many more. We love you, Jeremy. Happy birthday, bro. Glad you're here with us tonight. You're dope, bro. We're here for you. There it is, Rasputin. Thank you, Billy Beige. Shout out Billy Beige. Purple you know. pitcher pitcher. Yeah, oh, yeah. What a great dude. And if you guys, speaking of Billy Beige, if you haven't seen his, any of his videos, check them out. Get on that. First Don't sleep on Billy Beige. He's entertaining. He's, he's very, witty. Yeah, he's very, brilliant. Yeah. He is uh, resourceful and thrifty in every single way. Um, you may have seen him on our show with the Oh Billy segment, but he is an absolutely entertaining and wonderful human being. And he most recently put up a uh, purple unboxing unboxing video yesterday <laughs> with an absolutely super dope, uh, you know, uh, package yeah, that and he received in the mail. And just so you know, Billy, my son was a bit resentful that that you got all the good squid snacks that he wanted to try. Shout uh, he, out vinegar squid yeah, squid. Yeah, he's watching that with us. And he's like, why did you send that to him, Daddy? I wanted to try them squids. He says that, but he didn't mean it. No, not if he would have tried those squids. He would have deeply regretted that, as Billy did. He didn't mean it. Yeah. yeah, oh, man. I didn't even upload that video, but I made a wonderful video of Billy trying the vinegar squids. Maybe we'll uh, post that next week. Maybe yeah, we'll yeah, throughout the week. Yeah. In the purple gang gang group group. Oh, there's a group group? Oh, my goodness gracious. I do believe there is. Uh, so last Saturday, uh, Purple Robot Robot actually started a Facebook group for purple gang gang called the purple gang gang group. Wow. Group. Just another place for you to share purple stuff, right? You know, you know, there's not a lot of rules. Just don't be a dick. Be wholesome. Yeah. Right. You know. Doesn't have to make sense. Just has to be purple. Um, sales post Fridays only. Only Fridays. You know we don't want to clog the clog the feet up with a whole bunch of just uh, people trying to hit the wall. Would you like to uh, have a model sculpted? Meester, for you? Meester. Yeah. Take my donuts, lady. Um, 
but yeah, purple gang gang group group. Uh, I think there might be some questions to join. If not, shoot a DM to the purple robot robot. Anybody else that you know that rocks the purple, we'd love to have you in the group. I think we probably have like 170 ish people in a week. We really haven't advertised it any, but we'd love for you to be in there. Yeah, so, if you want to. If you don't, no big yeah, deal. We're happy you're here with us now. No hurt feelings. Maybe you just want to deal with us one day a week, or maybe you want to deal with us all the days of the week. Your we, option. We are an acquired taste, but uh, oh, gosh, if yeah. you like the way we taste, uh, hashtag no diddy. Oh, um, no diddy at all. You know, check out Purple Game Maybe Gang a little diddy. We're here for it. Yep. Yeah, good times. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to watch some YouTube videos so I can learn the diddy bop. Was that almost a diddy bop? I have no idea what a titty bop is. You know exactly what a titty bop is. Seen some do it. Hey, uh, but let, let all titty bops aside, can we bring on the guest of honor? Uh, you may know him as the one six shooter. You may know him as the wizard of photography. You may know him as the czar of all things excellent that can be done with a camera. But we know him as Trevor. Trevor, Trevor. There he is, Trevor. What's up, buddy? Happy Saturday. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> Look, Thank boy. you for having me on Purple Gang. Purple Gang Gang. I'm ha happy to be here entirely of my own accord and not at all in exchange for a moratorium on videos and sound bites of myself or friends who look somewhat like me or references to lighting. This is my favorite YouTube show, and it's going to be fun to talk with you, Van John, Van Jordan, Van and Jordan. Also, as you can see, Purple is my favorite color. So let's get started. Uh, P.S. Shooting the Shelf sent me. There they did. Yeah. You know, Brent, guys, you, you, didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't have to send this to me to read. And I would I would have said some nice things. Hey, again, like, yeah. You said it a I lot mean, medically before the show started. And uh, that just seemed like, uh, you know, you were coerced. I can't believe you actually showed I, up. I, I was coerced. You sent the guy yeah. with the purple shorts and the shirt and the hat with the, I think it was your logo, but it was like orange and white. So uh, maybe, I don't know. I thought your purple, your logo was purple. So maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. That's you awesome. did send this, right? You sent this? Yes, we'll yes, see. We, our secretary sent it. Mm -hmm. Our um, our secretarial uh, producer sent that to you. Oh, it says signed, love, Jesse. So Yep, I guess that, that sounds be, about yeah. right. I wish yeah. that I had okay. Jesse's baby. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> happy to have you here. Like, truly. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm really, I am happy to be here. I love the show. You know, I love the show. I can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore, though. I'm, I'm really like, uh, I'm being false to myself here. I have to, I have to go with my own. Brighten there it we up. Go. There's my, there's my color. There's my color. I can't go with it's purple so anymore. Good. I gotta be. <laughs> Drop the script, Trevor. Well, yeah. Everything we sent you, you ignore it. We want the unapologetic. Cheers to you, brother. 100%. Cheers to you. Trev, one six shooter. Yeah, do your we thing. We love man. you. What's in your glass? First and foremost, everybody out there wants to know. Uh, this is Jack Daniels single barrel 100 proof. Uh, pretty, it's good stuff. I mean, it's it's just Jack Daniels, but it's pretty good. Somebody bought it for me, so I'm drinking it. No, no. You know, it's funny. Um, not that anybody in this chat cares. I had a complete just, if I even smelled Jack, I would vomit. <laughs> and my wow all right, right. <laughs> no i mean it's it's a long story if Taste you're interested version, we'll, right? yeah Taste we'll call it that yeah, 17 years old bad things happen but uh my brother oh oh back then oh yeah okay i understand yeah. that yeah okay oh, yeah no, that's no, pepper no, no, no. peppermint yeah, schnapps yeah. and me that's the same thing peppermint schnapps i can't even get near it or i'm gonna 40s, throw the fuck up i still would not go anywhere near jack daniels because i thought that they all tasted like old number seven and my brother-in-law kept telling me, oh, I got this 12-year, oh, I got this single barrel, oh, I got this barrel proof, you know, oh, I've got this barrel proof rye. And I'm like, dude, don't get that shit anywhere near me. And so <laughs> we were over at his house, and you've been, you've been to Jim's house. He'll he'll just sit there and pour, like, all these grail caliber bourbons, and then he's like, here, try this and tell me what you think. And I'm like, holy shit, that's mad delicious. What is that? He goes, Jack Daniels. I'm like, go to hell. Um, and, and, <laughs> And, uh, that, yeah, yeah, that's when I discovered that they don't all taste like old number seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, there's a lot of varieties, and, and some are, are definitely better than others. I can't really do number seven anymore, but this no. stuff is good. I, 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 I recommend trying it out. It's not too bad, and it's not too crazy expensive, I don't think. I don't, like I said, somebody bought it for me, so I'm drinking it. So. Are you going to be at Ishcon? Do you know? I am going to try to be at Ishcon. I really want to be at Ishcon because they're going to be the reveal. Question. 
and uh, I, I definitely want to be there for that. So, yeah, I, I want to go there anyway. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a good time. No, so. the, the reason I ask is there's a Jack Daniels uh, barrel proof that I, if you're there, I'm going to bring. It's from right. a specific Rick House. I, I don't want to turn this into bourbon chat, but but it'll be right up. If you're enjoying that Jack you're drinking right now, you, you will absolutely love what I'll bring. All right. All right. I love the last thing you gave me. That was fantastic, too. So, oh, still yeah, working I'm, on that or did you finish it out? Oh, that is gone. That is gone. Uh, yeah, that's does, I'm actually on a shit doesn't uh, last long here, man. I don't, yeah. It's not, it's not, I'm not like it's not every night, but yeah, glass here, glass there, and it, it doesn't really, I don't know, there's something about bourbon. I can drink vodka and I'm, I'm loopy, but uh, bourbon runs through me like soda, man. It's just, I don't know, Samesies. Mm. absolute same. I cannot say the same, yeah. but you yeah, know, no, you really can't. <laughs> yeah, contrary to what our audience believes, I, I typically only drink one night a week, but yeah. Mm. It's all a big lie. It's true. I'm drinking every day. No, <laughs> no. My son's bourbon burning. on the cornflakes. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The way to do it, for sure. So we got a we got a lot of fun stuff. Um, excuse Uh-oh. me, guys. Got to jump in for a second. Uh, I think we might be having an issue with Jordan's microphone. Uh, I can hear him, but it sounds like I'm hearing him through vans. So just FYI. Um, and you hear him better now. I don't think you ever turned it on. You said you did, but I don't believe you did. What's the color of that light? What's the color of the light, bro? Oh, uh, no, he, he just turned it on. He's doing nothing yet. Him. Nothing. No, I mean, yeah. Where's your roadie? I don't know. Our <laughs> roadie or our Rosie? <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> Dumb. Dumb. Now get, yeah. Now I got you. Oh, it okay. works. It connects. That's wonderful. I'm back. There it I'm goes. back. Oh, Curtis. Thank you, Thanks Curtis. You're good looking out. Sister. Appreciate you. Well, you uh, used to clip it to your beard, so like now you have to. It's underneath the hair a little bit, so like. Right? Thank you for noticing, right? Trevor. I absolutely right? did used to clip my microphone to my yeah. beard. Yeah. And you could see yeah. it uh, hidden behind the bird's nest in the front of the beard. So. <laughs> now, uh, I know that that we that that in your uh what are we going to call it in your manifesto that you read when you came on to the show uh mm. you mentioned about uh lookalikes and stuff like this but some of our viewers wanted to know how much it would cost for trevor to switch places with nate for one day during legions con as in you wear no hat and nate wears a hat nate always wears a hat doesn't nate always wear a hat i don't know so i think so I'll not wear a hat. That's fine. I don't have to wear a hat. He can wear my hat. I was hoping to like it. The great well, thing about you? having Nate in my booth is like that nobody knows that I'm gone. Like he can just literally just pretend he's me. It's fantastic. That's how I get to walk around and, and see some stuff and buy some stuff because it's just, you know. And even if you're not in your booth, people can still buy one six shooter products from one six shooter. Right. Yeah. He can sign them. It's fine. It's it's all good. You know, Speaking just... of one six shooter, um, oh my, 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 my left permahard. Tonight is is actually uh, the Mandalorian. Being covered, Mandalorian shot from one six shooter. What's your? Other I can see sticker? that would be uh, Mythic Heathens. It's got. I can see uh, the head is a little more prominent on. Uh, it's it's just like a little bit. It's poking it out a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's nice. You say that, but where were we at when we noticed that I was busting through a sweatshirt? I mean, it, it's bad. <laughs> it's it's bad, guys. It's two sweatshirts. Yeah, actually. it was horrible. I had a, I had a shirt two underneath. Two sweatshirts. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah, man. Good Lord. Bad. I do not respond well to any type of cold. I'll just say that. Uh, <laughs> hashtag ninja nips. Ninja nips. Can we give this prize away yet? I feel like we promised, and then we didn't yeah, deliver. Yeah, tomato How pie we... frogs. Yeah, That's tomato great. pie frogs. Yeah. You know what? There's uh, 36 entries, and... Uh, Probably a good time to go ahead and draw that, even though there's 846 people watching us. Hopefully, live right they now. hit the like button. Yeah, please hit the like button. Uh, there might be stuff in the description that says our rules about giveaways, uh, free Make shipping sure in the continent of the US. Yeah. Make sure you're a subscriber. If you do win, you do have to PayPal us uh, two times the MSRP value of the figure so as Mr. well as the, the total shipping cost. But let's go ahead and spin that bad boy. What is your mother's maiden name? We'll give you 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Now, hit it. That's usually what he does. Wow. Yeah, no, like four more people uh, showed up. Get ready for that screenshot. Shout out to G, our homie, that's going to help us 
Rick Jones. Rick Jones. Woo! Rick, send us a DM. On to the, pur the Purple Gang Gang page, please. Purple Gang Gang Facebook page. It makes it a lot easier for us to track it. And uh, we'll get us in your way. Yes, indeed. I'll try and get everything out on Monday morning. Hey, it's my show now. Hey, oh, this, I guess not. You know, speaking of it being Trevor's show, this is a perfect time to give him a 60-second monologue. Trevor, what you got? What? <laughs> Uh, I got nothing. What do I got? I got, uh, hey, uh, well, you guys aren't here to hear this, but congratulations on the 500 subscribers. That's awesome. Um, I don't know. Have we ever done this before? I've watched the show. I don't, I don't remember a, a 60 second monologue, but, um, we do this every episode. I, do you really? Okay. All right. Um, so here's something, here's some positive. Well, be positive when you're, when you're posting a, uh, a, a, a comment on somebody's, um, artwork or uh, custom or something um, be nice be positive don't be negative about things if you, ha if you have something negative to say maybe DM the person or you know wrap it in a compliment um, you know the the internet doesn't have to be uh, you know a desolate hellhole of uh, bullshit you know what I mean like you can you can be a nice person on the internet you know even though nobody knows that it's really you unless you use your real name and your real picture um, you could still be a nice person. So there you go. There's my 60 second uh, PSA. That was actually 18 minutes. seconds. You said it perfectly. And I felt we, it. I felt it was like about 12, 13 that came minutes. From your right? heart. It was, it was magnificent. Like that yeah, was, I held back a little bit. Cause I, I had a diatribe in my, uh, as I was in the shower the other day, just in my head, like it was the whole thing that I was writing for uh, like a manifesto. And, uh, you know, I just, you yeah, know, I held it back, but yeah. Well, Whatever you held back, keep in mind this happens at least thirty six times every episode. It's and happening right now. Come prepared. Oh, oh that does. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that does. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, we do like to lock our guest on the screen for a little bit of time. A lot of people get really uncomfortable with it. Some people shine. Some people kind of break out of their comfort zone. Right? Like nobody wants to be locked I'm on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, man. I'll talk. I'll I, you give me a topic. Just give me a topic, then you can leave, and and I'll. I'll I got talk a topic, topic for you. Pop Go and ahead. swap all stars. Pop and swap all stars. Amazing oh, that yeah. you just that you ask that because I was just putting the rules together today. Uh, they are going to go up tomorrow. We are going to talk about it Monday on Legion's Lounge, and we've got a new category this year. Um, we've got the we've got the red and black. We're keeping the red and black. I have uh, to. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just there's so much red and black, and people love it. People love the red and black. That's for crap, you know. It's a staple. It's a staple. It is a staple. Pop all stars. Yeah. So yeah. Can't disappoint anybody, but you got to make everyone happy one way or another. Exactly. Exactly. Tributes. We're do. We're, we're keeping the tribute. We love those. Those are fun. Um, I think we're gonna get. We got cosmic now. Last year we were hoping we had cosmic, and we didn't. We didn't. We didn't get the first cosmic wave before pop and swap happened. So it was like the month after, or the month after that. Um, and this year. We got a new category, and that is uh, pop, pop and swap purple, baby. We got purple. What? You're yeah, you're eighty percent purple. Uh, your your figure has to be eighty percent purple, and you will be eligible for the purple gang gang uh, award uh, for pop and swap stars uh, twenty twenty four. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna can't wait for those. That sounds wonderful. And I'm probably assuming here right now. I typically don't like to assume. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. But and it's, me. Probably yep. gonna, it's probably going to have the dopest prizes of the entire contest. I would think so. Well, that's up to you. <laughs> and also, you can't enter because you're a judge. So, uh, oh, yeah. wow. We're judges, too? Uh -oh. Yeah, you're judges. Yeah. So we definitely yeah. won't win, but we will absolutely deliver the most excellent prizes to make what I said to be true, because that's what we do. I'm not a liar. Hey, uh, just one correction on that, Jordan. Uh, when people are creating, we all win. So there Curtis. you go. Thank you, Curtis. And uh, valid. That was very. You need valid. a rainbow over that one. The more you know. The more Ooh. you know. Shout out Jordy LaForge. I knew Trevor was going to be fun. Trevor is fun. Yeah, He's absolutely. So but um, you know, speaking of a purple uh, pop and swap category, big shout out to our friends at the uh, shooting the purple shelf shelf. Yeah, Jesse and Curtis, absolutely. They are kind of uh, going in on this with us and uh, nice. making sure that the purple pop and swap category is wholesome, has the best prizes all around, 
has the best eyes for Pizza talent rolls. because yep. sometimes we see double and we're like, why did you do two of these? And right. like, we only did one. And then we're like, right. we sometimes the depth perception is a little off, right? Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. So true. Oh, it's, so, yeah. So we, damn you. I, call, <laughs> I, I see where you went there, my friend. <laughs> so we just, you know, we need a, you know, a second set of uh, two sets of eyes to make sure that, uh, we we'll see clearly. So big shout out Jesse yep. and Curtis yes, shooting the purple shelf shelf. Big shout out to them for uh, helping us there out in Atlanta two weekends ago. Love you guys. Billy's got it. Eighty percent purple, ten percent gang, ten percent gang. There you go. There it Absolutely. is. Now, That's it. That's what, what formula? Is, what is your? I mean, everybody knows that that you're quite the photographer. You and I, you and I have had conversations. We talked about equipment. Um, I'm still shooting off an iPhone because I suck. But uh, what's your take on tasteful nudes? And also, have you done yourself? Have you had any tasteful nudes taken of yourself? I wouldn't. I wouldn't subject anybody to that. Uh, I wouldn't. Not even myself, honestly. Um, to uh, yeah, selfies in that in that respect. Yeah, and and plus, I don't fit on the table that I have down here, so um, there's oh, just you know, yeah. I don't yeah. have a dial that big that what I would really fit it fit into either. So. He doesn't have a dial that big. We know some great hashtag humble makers. <laughs> we can make that one one Trevor Look at that. diorama. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Jimmy yeah. H- uh, but customs, if you're um, watching, let us know. I try to keep my figures clothed. I feel a little weird if I if I'm. See, you yeah. say that, that's but, a good but segue. yeah, that's no, a good no, it's an excellent segue. segue. I heard one time that you were in the process of shooting a one six golem, and then you come to find out that that golem was in fact anatomically endowed. correct. Yeah. Tell us about. Damn, that. Damn, you've done your happen? research. Hell yeah, yeah, How did yeah. That happen? Uh, yeah, he's had. Yeah, he had a little precious man. He had a little precious on him. Uh, was it, it was little? Shocking. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't want to judge, but uh, you know. I only got one thing to go by, so. So you know, what was, was, was kind of had his precious? Uh, ha, ha, what's what's the proper one oh, ring yeah. to rule them all? And then the darkness yeah, what, by yeah. it did not have a ring to rule them all on it. I mean, so if that's what you're name. asking. Yeah, you know. Albert, we're sorry. Okay. I don't know how much it's gonna that would rule, but uh, yeah, you know, well, there's something was, for everybody. Precious old school or Old Testament or New Testament? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Somewhere in. Um, Middle Earth, he found a moil, I guess. I don't know. Was, uh, <laughs> there, uh, that was the freaking word I was looking for. Thank you so much. All right. So it was circumcised <laughs> precious purple bird. There it so, is. you know, I mean. Uh, I would have who lost. Knew, who knew Gollum was Jewish? I didn't. I didn't. I Here's had no idea. Question. What were you doing? Like getting up underneath his skirt or his. Well, well, there's, he wears skirt? nothing else but the loincloth. And it's not hard to like kind of just like, you was know, move the leg and go, whoa, hey, what's that? What's that? You know, so. You yeah. It kind of. I'll send them to you. Yeah, sure. My dude. Privately. I, Privately. You yeah. understood the assignment. I, I appreciate mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Gollum, uh, I'll, I'll send you a picture of the Van Gollum, and, and maybe you maybe you can Photoshop, and and uh, yeah, it, it'll haunt your dreams. I promise you that. Yeah, I'm not sure I want that. I'm not sure yeah, I want You that, might, but... though. You might, though. You maybe. never know. It could be what you've been I missing. You never know. Yeah. Absolutely. It's true. You never know what you like until you've you've, you've seen it or had How it. How did you fall like into that. photography? I mean, you, you're not just born picking up a camera and just shooting shit. I actually was born with a camera. I knew uh, it. That's what I killed me. No, I'm just kidding. Started, I didn't believe him. I didn't, believe, didn't believe him. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I didn't. I hated photography, honestly. I went to school and, you know, digital. Listen, full disco, disclosure, I'm older. Okay. Despite, you know, what this looks like. Um, but I, I mean, it was photography, still film photography. A digital camera sucked back then so like we were still doing film photography and you had to go into the dark room and i hated it in there you know it just i don't know chemicals and smells and it didn't do anything for me so i you know i stuck to drawing i stuck to illustration and stuff like that and that's what i really wanted to do i wanted to be a comic book artist and things like that so uh i had to pick up on photography just out of need uh through doing graphic design and stuff uh at, at an agency so I learned a little something, and then I started collecting figures again after many, many years. Uh, took a couple pictures just to post onto forums and stuff and said to myself, hey, I could probably Photoshop these guys into, like, cool scenarios and stuff. And I really thought I had, like, invented toy photography, and then I got on Instagram. You did, Instagram actually. And... No, I, 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 might, I might have. I, I might have. I it's, it's, yeah. I heard you mention oh, that yeah. oh, on, cool. the, on uh, Toy Photobomb on uh, Thursday with uh, Kill Cutter. 
you know, when he was mentioning like, yo, I saw this 12 inch Hulk and I'm like, I'm gonna take a photo of him and make him look real. And it's like, I'm gonna be the guy that, that Mm -hmm. invented this. And it's just like, yo, we've been doing this for a while now, but uh, I think everybody who, who has done it and got into it kind of fell into it accidentally. I mean, there's a lot of kids and stuff now who are collecting and they, they're on Instagram, you know, I mean, like, you know, I didn't grow up on Instagram. I, you know, Instagram was for my, like my dog pictures and my vacation shots and stuff like that. Back then, I mean, that was 2015, you know, now it's, you know, you gotta be on uh, TikTok and everything, except that's going to be canceled. So, um, Sure. Yeah, I think everybody thinks they're going to be invent they they invented it, but it's been going on for toy photography has been around for since the camera was invented. So, oh, really, uh, over a hundred years. Oh yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's people who did. There's a guy who did World War One um, uh, shots for magazines to like because so, I mean you couldn't get a, a picture of a of a you know a biplane in in the air back then. You know what I mean? Like you just didn't have the the technology. So he took little toy biplanes and they would run them in like news articles for you know the war the war and stuff it was cool man yeah, we that actually have a long time photos you took That's back in the 1940s uh curtis you want to get those pulled up for us oh you got some of my 1940s photography awesome that's great oh oh they did i'm curious they what is your age I'm, I'm gonna put you on the spot he's he's 27 that, that's i am cool. i'm uh 71 i'm 71 yeah, look, shut amazing up. Dog I years, I uh, he's like 12 yeah i don't believe that yeah, seventy one. So if you're seventy one, you're keeping the Botox industry in business. I'm just gonna say that I moisturize. I moisturize regularly, it, so that that I, helps a lot. I tell people about that all the time. With your jerseys, you got him, man. Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm 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 beyond jer- that. Jergens was was when I was fourteen. Oh, was, yeah, that yeah, was good. That was good. Uh, no, no, I've I've gotten more expensive uh, things now that uh, um, I'm I'm there with. I'm a bit yeah. of a, yeah. Use those, you know, the, the blood of youth and things exactly. like that. It's it works. Elizabeth Bathory. There we what go. What was that vampire mm-hmm. movie we were watching earlier? Living Among Us or yeah, something? Yeah, that, that was good. Based on a true story. With it that, happened. Uh, it happened. I've Andrew seen that Keegan. Happen. I seen it. Shout out to Colts. Yeah, Colts are great. Um, get the people together. Speaking of Colts in mm-hmm. Missouri, uh, what's that? In Missouri, apparently, I found out that my Missouri education was just that. It, it it was not all that all was cracked up to be my whole life. I would get a little mad inside, but inside I get a little mad at that person in Missouri. I got mad. I got mad. I got mad and I got mad in Missouri here. I've been misjudging and I've been uh, holding it against folks my whole life. Um, and I just like to say for all you folks that I didn't talk to, but I was mad inside about it. turns out I was wrong in Missouri and I'm sorry. Because it's not often that I admit I'm wrong in Missouri, but my education failed me in Missouri. Here, I've been misjudging. Turns out I was wrong. 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 There you go. I got mad. There you go. I got mad. There you go. Turns out I was wrong. Here, I've been misjudging. Gang, gang, baby. I would get a little mad inside. I got mad, but my education failed me in Missouri. (laughs) I will continue making my army of lizard men. Yes. That felt uh, very healing. That was. (sighs) Yeah. Missouri. Missouri. Hashtag Missouri. 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 I've I've been saying it wrong all these years. I thought there was an I in there or it an ends, E sound. It ends in an I, but it, it Missouri, it sounded but out it's not there. Genetics, it's Missouri. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Yep, it's almost yeah. You're right. It's almost French, Jordan. It's it's almost French. It's Missouri. Uh huh. Shout out Billy Beige down uh-huh. in the Bayou. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not quite time to shout out Billy Beige. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> you know what? Never let them know your next move. Never let them know. What are you even talking about? I'm just right saying, now? never let them know your next move. Hey, Alexa, play sexy boy Shawn Michaels. Hey, Google. Okay, Google, play sexy boy Shawn Michaels. Hey, Siri, play sexy boy Shawn Michaels. Brought to you by Funhouse Customs. Speaking and... of Funhouse Customs, ba, 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 ba. let's do a giveaway. <laughs> You can't see it in the box because it's actually a, a death coffin, but there's this 
Papa House still Alpha made it. Goblin in here with a dope shield and uh, axe, and the shield actually has real shrubbery on it. That's true. Flop, 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 There it is. He, he, he understands Trevor the has purple brain brain. Yep. We're going to uh, abduct him and make him live with us. Trevor, yeah. what's a good hashtag for this uh, you call flock, it. flock giveaway? Flop, flop, flocked. Right? Flop, flop, flocked. Definitely. Uh, we'll go with that. Flock, flock. Or flock goblin. Flock goblin? Flock goblin could be good. Flock goblin. It's oh up to God. you. I like this that. man's a genius. He is. That's the advertising side yep. of me. Yep. No, no. You're Drop cool. hashtag Flock Goblin in the comments for your chance to win this Funhouse Customs Flock Goblin. Imagine this one. From our boy Mark House Hill, the half ass paint job himself, the Prince of <laughs> Goblins. You know him well. Mark, if you're uh, watching, uh, let us know in the comments. <laughs> so, I know enough people do not talk about Brett Stoddart's photography. Um, I was just going to say this. What is your What thinking. is your take on this? Uh, I just I don't know. I, I it's 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 a bizarre phenomenon. I mean, um, you'd think that daily on Twitter, I would or uh, whatever the hell it's called now, I would run into somebody talking about Brett Stoddart's right. photography. But it's I don't know. It's 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 unusual. It's like. I don't know. It's 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 a strange phenomenon. Uh, but uh, but more Brett. people should be talking about Brett photography. Yeah. He wow. tells them not to. He tells them not right? to. He's incredibly humble. And I have, I mean, I can't turn my camera, but I have some amazing um, Brett Star photography over here. We got some Brett Star photography over there. You probably have some Brett Star photography. Hit the damn button. He's got it over there too, y'all. Do we, do we got? Do we got? It's everywhere. Yep. I put too much pressure on you. Yeah, performing anxiety. Uh, breast stars photography. Uh, we talked about it. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious! Perfect time. He did go to Chernobyl. Like he was one of the first responders, Trevor. Oh, he oh. was a first responder to Chernobyl. Does he know anything about loot, nuclear waste, and fallout? Or he may, he may just... not. He may have left his boots there. He did. He wasn't a first responder, but he was there way sooner than we've been there. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, shout out to Brett. But um, yeah, he's it, you know it was probably uh, several years after the meltdown. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out Elephant's Foot. Um, but uh, he was very safe with it when he went. He told us that they would only allow him into certain areas for like upwards of five minutes at a time. Yeah, that was crazy. What's the most dangerous photography you've ever done, Trevor? That's a good question. Um, probably like uh, a spiky prototype uh, figure for Mythic Legions that could fall over and break, and, now, and then I would be out of a job. Have that you ever? Uh, Wait a second. Has that figure been revealed yet? Yeah, it was that that creature from the Ox Crew that uh, that thing with all the spikes on its back. That thing. If that thing fell oh, over oh, and could crack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you yeah. ever photoed a figure from another toy company that was just? Let's be honest. Was absolute shit. Wait, wait, wait! You yep. can't say it like that. You can't say it like that. But he just responded. So carry yeah, on. No, Trevor. he said yes. <laughs> how, did you, how did you make it look good? I'm not going to call out the company, but yeah, I've had people no, send no, me stuff and like send us a DM. Yeah. yeah, tell us. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of stopped uh, taking some things from a couple of companies that were like not not paid work, but they were just like, hey, we'll send you a free figure and. Will you I'm shoot good. this? And I'm like, no, it's, it's, <laughs> I can't do anything with this. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like, like, I don't, I don't know how people can do like, like wedding photos or, or boudoir stuff when, you know, I mean, it's, you know, what is the I mean, bless your you heart? You got to work with what you're given. And it's yeah. like, it's difficult sometimes when they don't look that good. So you, know, you do so what how, you can do. How do you transition? Um, Sorry, sorry guys, I gotta interrupt for a second because we have uh H Eric Mays, uh one corn boy in the chat. FYI. Um oh everybody my. corn boy. Yeah, no, everybody stop. Drop, purple hearts and corn. Drop some corn emojis. The king has returned. Drop some purple hearts for the show the stops. C -c -c corn boy. Cor -cor -cor corn. You know, and uh, if you don't drop corn emojis and purple hearts in the chat right now, we will end this stream and we will continue it in about one minute. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some purple. I'm seeing some purple and I'm seeing some corn. This is what it's all about. Need more purple, need more corn. 
we can stop our channel now because we're like we will keep streaming yeah. live every saturday at 9 p.m until cornboy shows up and now that cornboy's here that's that was our uh, uh, you made I'm it you got afraid. 500 followers and you got cornboy on your show come on yeah that's all that matters uh yeah no no i, I was gonna say that i i'm not uh, i'm not popeye and, and gonna step on my my podium but i am gonna say jordan and i were talking we've we've talked about this several times how exciting it will be when when eight and and i'm trying not to get choked up cornboy I, this is not me being disingenuous how excited we would be when you showed up and that's i mean it thank you thank you thank you that um, hashtag hero you're you're not going to hear me at a loss for words very often but thank you we're glad to have you here that's for thank both you. of us cornboy yeah, it really is that makes me so fucking happy hashtag that, that was my hearts and corn yep. emojis there it is it's our dude yep we appreciate you glad glad to have you back and we look forward to seeing you as soon as possible the king is Hell back yeah. y'all. the king is back legion's con baby got yes. Legion's con so exciting yeah it's He's, wonderful time to wait. be alive right now it is it is Hi, so hey good. Let, let's keep up with inspiration um art let, let's talk about some art that inspires us wait a second we uh talked about brett stoddard but never showed any of his photography holy shite did we not show his photography you said uh oh you're oh yeah posted up oh ooh, so yeah check this out we're talking about chernobyl look at this classroom nobody learned on this day no <laughs> No, they learned how quickly learned. the faces would melt. Oh, insensitive. Yeah, that. That's say not that. great. You shouldn't yeah. say that. But uh, this is yeah. one of the photos that Brett took uh, when he visited Chernobyl. It was a uh, classroom, very desolate. Very it was bleak. a classroom. Yep. I mean, it still is. You see how colorful the chairs are. Yeah. Those but, chairs uh, are fabulous, though. I gotta say, like that room is it really needs a paint job. But those chairs it are makes amazing. No sense, right. Right, like I would take those chairs now. I, I mean, you know, you'd have to decontaminate them, I, I mean, guess. But you, like, they're fantastic. But if you could only pick one chair, Trevor, which of these chairs would you want to take home? Well, there's no purple one, so I guess I would oh, go with the teal. Right? Yeah, teal. Yeah, uh, that's the way I would have gone too. You heard it here yeah. first. Trevor Anybody goes teal. to Chernobyl, goes to this classroom, grab, grab a, a teal. teal chair, tell them shooting the shelf sent you, mail Send it to, to Trevor. That's right. Success. There it there is. Beautiful so, shot. This is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. And real quick, before we uh, pop onto our next slide real quick, I'm going to give you 18 seconds to go ahead and type in hashtag, hashtag flock goblin. goblin to win this uh, absolutely amazing Funhouse custom goblin custom. Got it in my hand, y'all. Return of the king. And you get the wood box with it, too. I was going to be an ass and keep the wood box, but... We're keeping the wood yeah, box. We're no, going to dump the custom and all the bad. parts into like a Food Lion uh, grocery it. bag, and we're going to yep. send it to you. We're not even going to put that into a different outside box. Let's we're not even give them the prize. Tape it together, and... Uh, we're sending you, know, you a newspaper clippings. You'll probably have to file a claim with the United States Postal Service, but... Prove it. Prove it. No big deal. Yep. No big deal. So uh, those 18 seconds are uh, now up so we are spinning that wheel spin it somebody's gonna win 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 no matter what wouldn't it be great if i actually won one of these blah, 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 blah. giveaways come on i haven't seen my name oh nolan nolan, nolan collects a funhouse customs goblin coming your way my friend and speaking of you have to do a whole vi video of this man nolan you're gonna have to do a whole video yeah. for this Check out Nolan Collects on Instagram, on YouTube. He's an absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful human being. Yes, he, he is. does absolutely awesome content all around. I'm pretty sure he's going to be at the uh, Chicago Toy Show that's coming right. up uh, really soon. So if you're not going to be there, prayers. check out his content. He's a great human being all around. And uh, we love you, Nolan. So slide into those DMs. We'll get this Funhouse Custom Goblin sent out to you. Hit that Purple Gang Gang page. And uh, you're a real one, bro. So big shout out. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is true. And speaking of giveaways, we're giving away more. Yeah, that's not uh, the end of it. No, that's not the end of it. And I think we mentioned it earlier, but 500 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, it's going to kind of uh, bleed over into next week. Yeah. So uh, not only are we giving away 2,386 uh, giveaways tonight, there will be an equal amount next weekend on Saturday, starting at 9 p.m. So hold up, we talked about Brett Stoddart's photography, right? No. No, we haven't. No, I mean, we it's right there, right? Well, actually, the next giveaway is provided by our good friend, Brett Stoddard. It's Brett Stoddard's photography? 
he what? gifted us last weekend. If you saw our show last weekend, he actually gifted uh, each of us one of his prints on these absolutely amazing aluminum uh, canvases. They have rails on the back of them. You don't have to frame them. All you got to do is pop some nails. Yeah, no, he actually threatened us with physical down. violence if we frame these. I mean, they're not meant to be framed. <laughs> but there is a special caveat with this giveaway. They will. They're, be they glow in the dark. No. We, well, I mean, they're from Chernobyl, so definitely. That's what do. I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're definitely radioactive for sure. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out, imagination, imagine dragons. Yeah, imagine radioactive. Dragons, yeah. Radioactive. But um, if you want to take part in this next giveaway, there's actually an option for you. If you look at these two uh, photos on the screen right here, these are your first two options. We'll get to the next two options in just a second, but these are not to be shipped. Mm -hmm. If you are local to the Intercourse, Pennsylvania area, if you have any intentions of being at Ishcon, August 3rd, Durham, North Carolina, it's going to be a great time, or Legion's Con in November, this can be uh, hand delivered to you. This is also a transferable prize. If you know somebody that's going to be at Ishcon or Legion's Con or lives near Intercourse, Pennsylvania, these will not be shipped. So, uh, otherwise, I will so, gobble your prize up. So, if you're good with a handoff in Intercourse, yeah, yeah, if you, yeah, if you like handoffs in Intercourse, uh, enter, yeah. enter this prize. That's there a good go. tag. Mm -hmm. So, these are your first two Hashtag options. Intercourse. These are uh, two of the four different prints that you have the uh, option of choosing. To dive win. into Brent's uh, DMs. No, you dive into our DMs. We'll handle all this for Brett. Okay. Not Brent. All right. Dr. Brent Who is... Said, uh, you said Brent. Is it Dr. Brent? Yes. Already? Dr. Brent. Dr. Brent. Wrong, okay, there we go. Wrong one. That's My Brent. apologies, Brett. So, uh, it next, was an extra. It was extra constant. Next yeah. to uh, prints right here. Yeah. We've got Whoa. Me. You know, very bleak and desolate stuff. You know, these are great photos because you can hang them on your wall. And no matter how bad your life's going, you can look at these, right? You're like, Perspective. Perspective. Absolutely. That is the joy of uh, life, right? Like, that's the uh, that's the uh, Dalai Lama's. Those, are, uh, like those are baby cribs. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, I noticed that. that. Yeah. yeah. It's jarring. So yeah. You, you've got options. Brand new whip just hopped in. Uh, mm -hmm. Past that photo, like Stockton, but you know, like people always complain, like my life's so horrible. You know, I hit a red light. You know, like look at these photos. Is your life really that bad? Watch TLC. Yeah. I have a 500 pound tumor on my face. Yeah, is your no, life that's tough? Really that bad? I hope you did squats. Yeah. Look at your toys. Feel yeah. good about it. But, Be um, happy, y'all. What's a good uh, What's a good hashtag for this Intercourse. next giveaway? Of course, yeah. Intercourse. What does intercourse. that even mean? That's where you got to meet Brent. Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Okay. That's yeah, we said up. that. We made it very clear that what's if you up? win this prize, uh, intercourse will be involved. <laughs> so drop hashtag Facebook in the comments for your chance to win. Easier One to of spell. These Easier to spell. Perfect. 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 Yes. Brent. Intercourse is tough. Yep. It is. You know, is that like four O's or two? It, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'm not I don't going any further with that. that now, I'm going to go ahead and flip the script. Uh, William White, I hope you're still in still in the chat. Um, William White. Yeah, you may know him as Billy Beige. Oh, Billy. He joined us in Toylanta, and once again, uh, oh, he, ran, he ran into a bit of uh, Billy, 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 regulations, Billy. but. You can't keep a good man down. You just absolutely cannot. And, you know, Bill, Billy did what Billy do. And he, he keeps on rocking it. What are you even talking about? Huh? Hey, Purple Gang Gang. Billy Beige here. And I'd like to announce after my recent correspondence with the Purple Gang Gang that a dream I've long since held has been reawakened. I'm proud to announce the grand opening of Billy Beige's Community Theater and Convenience Store. With every fill-up of fuel locally sourced from construction sites and parking lots, customers will be treated to a classic scene from film, television, or literature. This week's fill-up feature is... is from the blockbuster 1985 film Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Scene. After hours of explaining the details of his beloved bicycle's theft, 
fan favorite character Chuck asks what all this is supposed to mean. <clears throat> supposed to mean? Supposed to mean? I think everyone knows what this is supposed to mean. When you've gone over something again and again and again and again like I have, certain questions get answered. Others spring up. Your mind plays tricks on you. You play tricks back. It's like you're unraveling a big cable knit sweater that someone keeps knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. And knitting. Pause for applause. Thank you. Well, got to get back to my work. Billy Beige, out. Bart, just what do you think you're doing out here? You're going to scare off all the customers. You're supposed to be watching them caravan critters. Get on here. Skip, skip. Wow. Billy. Can I, can, I, can I tell you what the best part of that besides the Daisy Dukes is? What's the that? $2 and two, the $2.02 and two cent gas in the, in the background. Yeah. That's pretty it's, it's yeah. beautiful. I mean, that's it's good to when, see. When you snatch that shit off a construction site, you can pretty much call your own prices. Yeah, Shout out. Scythe. Hashtag Absolutely. siphons are next giveaway. He, he makes yeah. it at home, I think. Like a uh, ninety-three grade, Ooh, unleaded. So, Billy, that was inspiring the um, the community theater that you put on down in Mississippi. He's like, a true thespian. You know, uh, yes. Billy, if you're in the comments, let us know where we can buy tickets to your local theater. Because next time we're in Mississippi, we'll be there. We'll be front row, throwing tomatoes rice i believe I mean, that's mississippi right that's like missouri it's right. mississippi yep yeah m i s p i go back to that episode to find out exactly how to not spell it but crooked letter crooked letter yep he he yeah he had an entire picture of evan williams but yeah that knife yeah trevor if you have not seen it like fast forward just to the part where he's mixing his drink it is deadly everybody's seen Billy Bob Evan Williams is your first mistake right there That's well I mean he it, the first mistake was preach. the tea pitcher with the uh entire can of monster sugar-free purple energy drink and then he he doubles down with a Fanta 20 ounce was bottle. it Fanta it was crushed grape oh excuse me crushed Let grape me correct you right yeah, now thank you no I appreciate that then he took a Flipping handle of Evan Williams and dumped a third of the bottle into his pitcher. He says a third, but it was like half a pitcher. Yeah, worth. It, yeah, and then he finished. He damn near finished that pitcher on our show. And that wasn't the crushed good. grape. Oh God, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's well, better than Fanta bad. grape. Fanta Fanta is orange. You can't go with Fanta grape. You got to go with crushed grape for sure. Yeah. but not not good still. I like Welsh, or new grape if you can find it. But you say Welsh is all I think of. Welsh is. From mm -hmm. uh, Little Rascals, so mm -hmm. shout out Alfalfa and uh, yeah. Fido and uh, shout Barbara. out Darla. Stimey. Stimey. Rascals. Shout yeah. out Stymie. Stymie was awesome. Stymie, there he is. Stimey, that's Buckwheat. Not, that's not a real Little Rascal. He might be. <laughs> what? What? No, you just made that. Come up. on. I mean, he has no, a hat. I, yeah, you just made that up. I know what you're talking about. I forgive you. I'm though. old man. I I know. I know. I'm with you on Stymie. It's one of the original Little Rascals that uh, made it like two episodes in, and uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like Froggy. No, Froggy was too. Froggy. He made it to the 1990s uh, reboot. So, oh, and Beretta, right? Beretta was in there too, right? Beretta. Cut, cut, cut. Beretta's in jail. I don't I remember him. I think he, Beretta's dead. I think Beretta's dead. Did he die? Robbed a I don't know. Is he dead? Was he? I don't know. Cop. Somebody in the horrible. comments, let us know if Beretta is dead or if he went to jail for murdering his wife. But, oh, that's right. You know what? He did have a thing. Like, didn't he? Like, yeah, yeah. That's he right. killed the I, shit out of his wife. <laughs> shit, that's he right. Killed the shit out of her. That's yeah. fucking... I hope he don't steal my Jesus. That old man stole my Jesus. What just yeah. happened right there, Curtis? Why did you play that that Jesus thing? Yeah, um, we we needed some Jesus over us after talking about Robert Breda and how he Robert murdered. Blake. Uh, Robert, Robert Blake. Blake here he is, uh, right. He. He, no, he, he died. He died he, last year, March 23rd, 89 years old. Okay. Uh, may he burn forever. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, you know, he murders twice, guys. Come on. Shout out Robert. Damn. It couldn't have been that bad. I mean, you can get a divorce lawyer, right? You don't have to pretend you're in the restaurant and then go out there and pop, pop. Yeah. Did he help uh, Christopher Walken and Robert Wagner kill Natalie Wood? He I don't know. Have, he might have. Anybody know. In that he boat, did. let us know. He in the killed comments. his wife, and you can take that to the bank. Yes. Ooh, old. Uh, you understand yeah, that yeah. reference. 
All right. So, uh, are we spinning safe sex? Um, safe sex. Uh, nah, come on. Hashtag safe sex. Don't don't be shy. Nobody's yeah. gonna report this to your boss. Drop I mean, that in there. In. I mean, we may or may not screenshot this and send it to your boss, but yeah. is it worth only that if figure? you win? Yeah. Uh, drop that for a chance to win an absolutely amazing Brett Stoddard aluminum canvas print from Chernobyl, a place that uh, ninety nine point nine percent of us will never go to. Because it's just not safe. Hmm, nope. Unless it's a great, it's a great gift too. Like you know, we had that discussion. You don't have room on the wall. That's great. Yeah, no. If you go through, uh, this is what cracked me up. If you go through um, Brett's uh, Chernobyl photography, you will see the swimming pool that was in the Call of Duty. uh, Was it Modern Warfare Two or was it Black Ops? But really. Man. When you're playing the death matches, that pool that you're in, where you're in Pritchard, I think is how you pronounce it, but I'm probably saying it wrong. But anyways, it cracked me up because I remember playing those death matches, and then I saw that pool. I'm like, oh shit, I was there, yo, <laughs> I was there, yeah. But yeah, that, that was surreal because I, I lived it. But yeah, Vit, you know, in a video game. But exactly. yeah. no, I, no, I was yeah. really there. Virtual. Enter this contest. No, I didn't. Away. No. I didn't. I'll enter it for both. You were there. We logged into my eight uh, duplicate accounts real quick. Seventeen duplicate accounts we created just today alone. All right. Yes. We hit five hundred one way or another. Also, it it, it very well could be that only a you know certain amount of people are going to be at those cons or or have somebody that will be. Yeah. Even if it's your friend that's planning on going, they can hand the prize off to you. We just the the only caveat is here: this cannot be shipped. Yeah. It's that precious. um, it is precious. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's shout to one six Gollum. Yeah, <laughs> precious. Shout out to uh, why am I drawing this blank? I'm thinking the Ark of the Covenant. Shout out to Ark of the Covenant. You can't mail that there shit. Yes, no. Yeah, and with all it belongs that, belongs in a museum. It does, just like this. Yep. And uh, you know, even if you don't have plans to go into either one of these two cons, show up to one of these two cons, receive this gift, and then sell it to a museum. Museums are made of money. Flip it. Get yours back. Go to Enterprise. Go to Cabo. Live your best life. Do all those things at once. So uh, you have 18 seconds to change your life. Who we got? Who we got? Every time he says 18 seconds, you really just. Who we got? You're past your point of. Brendan Higgins. Ah. I personally know Brendan will be at least. He's an absolutely amazing human being, and his Sweet office death. actually overlooks the hotel that Legion's Con is going to be at. We will be there. So, Brendan, Congrats, Brendan. Shoot me a DM. Seriously? I will actually send you all four of the uh, possible prints you can choose from. These things are great, bro. You let me know which one you want, and hopefully maybe you can come to IshCon as well, the perfect appetizer for Legion's Con. If you can't make it to IshCon, of course, you know, we'll see you in November in Jersey with one of these absolutely dope prints. So, Brendan, big shout out. Love what you're doing all around. You're a great person. You're a great friend. Happy to have you here tonight, buddy. Now, I I got a little off topic. Did we talk about any art that inspires us tonight? No, we didn't. I'm so sorry. Wait a second, but uh, maybe we'll get to to that later. Someday. Because that's... Follow the script, Van. Uh, that's will, what happened. I, I, I will, jumped off script. I will flip your table and your chair. We we did Brett. Art inspires is right here. We already did this. We did that. Just just go inspire some people. No, with some this art. goes here to here. You smoke and crack. Here to here. We didn't do this, and that's up there. Okay, so yeah, check this. this inspires out. me. If you want yep. to share that, it's true. I don't know. Let's just see what button he presses, y'all. I don't even know what year. Curtis, I would love Producer. some. Tra- right now i don't know why Producer curtis here we are art inspires yeah art that inspires the man the myth the legend um art that inspires this week man go ahead and take it off we are talking about the man the myth the legend boba chuck if you do not already follow him make sure that you do um he's very prevalent in mezco groups but but he dabbles in all toys he makes dioramas he just he does photography. Yeah, he's such a you sweet know, guy. He's a super, wonderful human being. Dude. I didn't meet him for the first time until Legion's Con 2023. Yep. And I absolutely loved every moment of it. We had lunch with him at Wegmans at that uh, burger great place. Great bourbon bottle picks there, y'all. The best store picks. Yeah. Store picks. Yeah. 
they hit Wegmans. But Boba is delightful in every single way. It's Look at this, this bad boy. Too. It is his birthday this week. I think it was like within the past 72 hours. Yeah, sounds about right. Boba, congratulations on turning 24. We love you, bro. But yeah, check out this dope photography shot here uh, with force fields and thrace and uh, purple. Is that a valiant? Clouds. That is a valiant night. It most yeah. certainly is. She's blowing his ass off that cliff, y'all. Trevor, what do you got on this photo? Tell us what's happening. Uh, awesome, man. I love I love the effect, uh, the the motion on the Valiant Knight. I mean, like, you know, you can't do that with an ordinary knight. You got to have a Valiant Knight for that one. It's true. And what if I told you there was no after effects, no post-production on this shot? That what was what? actual magic. That was actual what? magic. What? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. I would say, how do I get that? Because that could save me a lot of time. When Guardian Levial saw, saw there slide is. into Boba's DMs, he's happy to share any information, mm. whether it be with photography, whether it be in creating dioramas. He's wholesome. Yeah, and wholesome. Boba Chuck is good. He's a good Recognized dude. Wholesome. Boba is absolutely wonderful all around. Oh, oh that's that a, that's a personal favorite right there because it's purple. Yep. I, it's, I, the Joker. I love the Joker. He does love the Joker. He. I uh, got a lot of Jokers. He. Uh, it makes his whole life off the joke. That's true. <laughs> my, my actual, you know, my entire business stratagem is based off the Joker. Really? Which yeah. Joker, man? There's only one. Jack Nicholson? Mm -mm. Wait a second. But he's the one that did like the, the Prince like mm -mm. montage. Mm -mm. What are you talking about? You're talking about oh, like the. Star? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The, the, oh, uh, you're a Jared Leto fan. I always Jared Leto. Got to be Jared Leto. Wilderness Jared Leto. When Van went out into the desert <laughs> and he spent like three <laughs> months Leto. meditating yeah. next to a, yeah. a cactus, oh. and mm. uh, when he finally opened his eyes for the first time, there was only one thing that was within his eyesight. It was Jared Leto. Yeah. And this was actually 2020. Um, it was like probably like June or July. COVID had been going on for like four or five months, and they both mm. woke up together in the middle of the desert. Some called Broder the Space Cowboy. Yeah, some people call Broder the uh, yeah gangster of love. Mm -hmm. Some people did you hug him, Maurice? Broder, Maurice. When you woke up? He did actually. Yeah. They uh, they made out for like a good forty eight hours, and they're like, Ouch. "Our lips are chapped. We need more chaps." Mm. That's what it was. And, so, yeah, and they're like, no bro, dead. we got to mm -hmm. find our way back to civilization. Mm -hmm. We're out of chapstick. And then they're like, we got back to civilization. Like all the Rite Aids and the CVSs and the Walgreens were closed. So they went to Walmart. And good old Walmart's always open. But if we're asking a serious question and we really want to break down our Joker performances, Jack Nicholson from a comedic view, I mean, he was a badass. I mean, how can you not mention Jack Nicholson? But Heath Ledger freaking killed it, dude. I mean, nope. he, Heath Ledger nailed that psychotic Joker. That that's my Joker. It really is. I, I you know, is that the dude from a Night's Tale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody thought he could do it. Nobody yeah. thought he would be any good. He yeah. was so good, he died. Yep, that's right. <laughs> oh, too too shout out. Still. It wasn't yeah. too soon. That was like a decade ago, bro. I still, I still weep at night. Go back to the desert, learn something. Yeah, I can't. Mm. There's there's only so many things I can learn. Something to be said for leaving a good looking corpse. So yeah, well there's that. There's Valid. That. Yeah, no. Mark Hamill's an excellent Joker as well, but that, he's that's my cartoon. Yeah, he's my definitive Joker. Mark Hamill, like he's mm. it. Mm. He's mm. it. Curse Cesar I Romero was pretty good. I gotta say, Cesar Romero was pretty good. See, that's going back to like your cartoonish, corny Jokers, and that's that's where I would still give it to Jack Nichols. That's a badass picture. Oh, shout out Boba Chuck for uh, this awesome photo right here that just popped on our screen. Boba Chuck, what did you do with this photo with the purple demon demon sucking the souls out of Azar and Zazar? How'd you do that? Uh, that's actually one of mine, guys. Uh, in our private chat here, uh, Trevor was asking if I had a purple picture, and I actually forgot that Azahazar has the little purple loincloth, so... Yeah, actually, I was saying I had a purple picture, Curtis, but... That's oh, I thought you said you, you were asking... But that's great. Idea. Yeah, gotcha. but this is a good combination of blue and yellow makes purple. Purple, yeah, of course. Yeah. We sure. don't talk about sure. blue. I remember that from my art school. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about blue on this. All show. right, let me pull yours up. Uh, this one. That's for you. Yeah, baby, Crimson Viper. I like that. That's so yeah. Would you so, print that on aluminum canvas for us, Trevor? 
I'd buy that. Uh, I don't have it, but I would. I would. I would encourage him to print this out. It's beautiful. Yep. Yes, indeed. Gorgeous combination of purple and green. Uh, yeah. Excellent shot. Two of my favorite colors. Purple. There you go. Do we got more Boba Chuck photography? Since we're so. since we're go for Boba Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious! Ah, uh, there we go. Vapor. Who? Vapor. Cousin Mesco Eddie? Vapor. vapor. Wasn't it? Yeah, definitely Vapor. Yep. Yep, you got yeah. vapor and burner edition vapor. Mm -hmm. Then you might have—I can't remember the name of the the uh, little Irish-looking vapor, but he's a vapor too. Mac Vaporoni. Yeah, Vaporoni. There it is. Mac Yeah, those vapors got quite the personality to them. They're they're very expressive figures. They got a lot of accessories, uh, and, and and I'm willing to wager that's a Boba Chuck uh, diorama that that photo was taken in and. And they appear to just be uh, spending some time waiting for bail. It would be my guess. Are they are they in a prison or are they in a sauna? Oh, bathhouse, maybe. I don't know. But that uh, Charlie Sheen commercial from oh, uh, thirteen. Mm, years ago? Yep. No, I'm. It's I'm gonna, a kind of a hostile type of situation yeah, here going on. Hostile. Yep. I wonder what's on their minds. Next picture, please. <laughs> <laughs> bum 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 bum. Oh, shout out, Van. Shout out, Nick Strong. <laughs> hey, Trevor, can we get a Popeye impression? No, you cannot. <laughs> we may have our own. But, it's too uh, late, done. Trevor. Yeah. We, we have no, no, no. That's, I I read what? the manifest. Like, I came on the shelf. This is a moratorium. Uh, Boba That's Chuck uh, original diorama. Yeah. Yeah, he did all of this. He invented Popeye. Fantastic. Pop Every time Van drinks too much, it's in his memory. That's Boba yeah, Chuck. Thank you, Boba Chuck. Got out, Boba Chuck. Yep, you're inspiring. Mm. Where did that backdrop come from? Is that like a real ocean that he went and like? Yeah, uh, no, he actually he he uh, went out about 32 miles into the Atlantic and floated his diorama. Just like, set it outside. set it out there. It's still floating to this day. It's still That's actually cool. out there with this whole setup. That's dedication. That's a yeah. lot of blue tack to hail that pop. Somebody on the coast of Africa is going to pick this up someday and it's going to be bang, gang, or bang, gang. So, uh, the next photo that wasn't us, Trevor, blue light mm. moratorium. Um, that was, <sighs> but that video will live in perpetuity in our mm. little pre, is that Cliff uh, Burton? Pre clickies. That is Cliff Burton. Slap in the base. Slapping the is that the ride the lightning cover no 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 no, no it's not that's actually taken from guitar hero 3 what what metallic album cover is it with the lightning coming down well it is ride the lightning but that's not the cover so it's just dope it's just dope boba art bro yep why is that to be from something i swear i've seen that image somewhere but anyway yeah, you saw it on boba chuck's instagram when that's what it was okay uh, that explains it all when we were uh Deep diving into it earlier. Yeah, yeah. So shout out Boba. Shout out Cliff Burton. Rest in peace. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, buses mm. are no joke. Mm -mm. Uh, I rode a short bus. I'd much rather get ran over by a short bus than a real bus. So shout Didn't out. Didn't like a plane hit the bus, or am I thinking of Randy Rhodes? So no, Randy. it it it. it uh, I forget what happened. I think it ran off the road or something. Yeah, like that. you're right. Um, Randy Rhodes is the one that got hit by a plane. Two weeks before that happened, I saw Metallica with Cliff Burton open up for Ozzy Osbourne. So oh, no, yeah. you did not. Don't lie. I swear to God, I did. I believe you. Yep, that's an experience. I absolutely believe you. So uh, the band's tour bus skidded supposedly. Supposedly, when Google says supposedly, yeah, that makes you know me doubt bad. everything. Yeah, exactly. Supposedly, it skidded on a patch of ice. Then the uh, careered off the road and overturned Great. Burton was killed after being thrown through a window and having the coach land on top of him yep hashtag me too so hashtag you probably didn't feel it shout out Cliff Burton that's a horrible story you Squish. absolutely rock we listen to you all the time and uh speaking mm -hmm. of uh wow speaking of what we're we talking about I don't know. I don't know. It got really dark, and and now we've got to uh, <laughs> time for the dwarf Curtis. custom of the week. <laughs> sad what, but what? true. It's sad but true, right? It's sad but true. Sad but true. Well, I see what you did there, <clears throat> sir. We Damn. we enjoy the uh, lyrical puns, Trevor. Right. Read your form. Eh, you got to turn the page. Before we go into the dwarf custom, can we go back to the hashtag? Wait, 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 wait. Did we get a hashtag? We, no, we never hashtag. did that one. Well, we, we just gave away the last one. Yeah. But there's also another one that actually correlates with this right here. So yeah. dwarf custom of the week. Okay. You never saw it coming. 
I saw it coming. I saw it coming several days ago. What's this bad boy? What's this bad boy? I wish I could make it even bigger. But oh. this is actually a most wonderful shot from this guy right here. My my fingers are crooked. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, I finally got to do some of my own stuff instead of just like showing promo shots from <laughs> other companies. So you got uh, to live your best. Follow your heart. Yeah. This I had this in mind for like a month, man. I wanted to do I wanted to do this shot. Had it, it was a little different in my head, but it came out like I'm really, really happy with this. So um I love the dwarves, man. I do love the dwarves. I'm not like that. I'm not like crazy house seal dwarf guy, but like I do love the dwarves, and uh, I got some good oh. custom dwarves. So that's how I feel. So I appreciate the dwarfage in this photo, and and I'm gonna guess those are carver torches, maybe. Those maybe. are carver torches. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Good I man. know a good torch. So my question is, did you have to fly to the Caribbean, to the Miami, or to Los Angeles to get P. Diddy's hand into that photo? Uh, Chernobyl, actually. I had to go to Chernobyl. It, uh, he's he's oh, been there for a while. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> P. Diddy's hand. That's good. That's good. P. Diddy and Billy, that's not Granamere. Uh, mm -hmm. If you that's follow Trevor, mm -hmm. you'll know that's actually a, uh, what is it, a uh, Diablo hand? It's actually the dragon um that's going to be coming out in about mm -hmm. i don't know it's not yeah it is diablo it's the the 5k diablo hand of the 5k diablo uh demon oh is figure. that the one that has like the skull mask over his face yeah he's got this he, he comes with a skull mask yeah he does yeah, yeah. Okay, it's I a good it's a cool figure man it's like the the flame effect and all that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. 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 The same color as the dragon that you just photographed that will be getting soon Yep. Oh, got awkward. What? Yeah, I don't know. This isn't where I parked my car. Nope. All right. So, uh, speaking of Dwarf Customs of the Week, it's probably a good time for a giveaway. Do, 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 do. If you can't see Van's finger puppets. Oh, that's a better picture. Say their name. Tyler, what are our dupe? <laughs> These are two brothers. Hip -hop anonymous. They are not the same goblin. They are two brothers. S. Styler and what are the dude? Is this a cat in a hat? These are actually Toy Forge original sculpts. Two different goblins painted by Anthony House Seal of the Toy Forge. We're going to give them away tonight. So, uh, if two you want to brothers. Win, two brothers. Read my mind for the hashtag. Let us know in the comments. I asked my girlfriend if she could give me dwarf head, but she said there was no way. I'm thinking of so many different references from them right now. <laughs> I just, I'm not even going to go through them, but yeah. <laughs> there was. No uh, yeah, it's this comedic gold. So, are, do we got a hashtag? Yes, what, we what do. do. I just that? saw one that spoke to my heart. Oh, you know, this could be good. Spoke to your brother. There we are. There we go. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Rigatoni. I expected worse than that. Rigatoni. No. Yeah, it's just two Rigatoni. brothers. They're in a van. Rigatoni. Asteroids following them in dinosaurs. It's a Rick and Morty quote. They're just two <laughs> brothers. <laughs> this is Dollar and Ward of the Dorf. So mm -hmm. drop hashtag two brothers for your chance to win these two custom painted 3D sculpted heads from the Toy Forge. If you're still here and not at WrestleMania. Or die trying. Yeah. We're 50. Sure, we sure know how to pick those Saturdays. Oh, shit. I want to win these says I want to ship these. He's trying. Yeah, I mean, I'll just hand it to you. Uh, Trevor, once you enter, let me know, and I will spin this shit right away. Let's they got lost enter. in the mail. Oh, yeah, okay. We have of winning. I'm in. Wait. You're I'm in. Now. Right. We are spinning it right now. Oh, he was serious. Oh, shit. <laughs> you fuck up. <laughs> Shit. Brad Johnson. Congratulations. What? Uh, we share a last name. and, and Brad's a homie. Yeah, yes. Maybe He's won giveaways from us before. I actually finally got to meet him at Toy Lana. Absolutely solid dude all around. 
Brad, Thank you, congrats. If you're going to be at a Joe Fest or a Heroes Con, let us know. Be happy to bring it to you. That's too long to wait. That's June, bro. Send us a DM with your address. Uh, I've added you as a friend. That way you won't hit my spam folder this time and make it look like super awkward. We got you. Mm -hmm. So reach out. We'll get these sent to you right away. And uh, you can rock with the two brothers. No big deal. Shout out the Toy Forge. Shout out the Toy Forge. We're shouting out to that Toy Forge. Yeah. What What is that in the backdrop there? Oh, what is that? That's a... <laughs> Hashtag Evan Stone. <laughs> so you use Pastor Evan Stone. <laughs> Pastor Evan Stone. Oh my goodness gracious, is the moratorium on blue I'm lights. So like looking in a mirror. I'm so happy right now. Speaking of blue lights, how about that? Uh, those those <laughs> day one exclusives <laughs> with the uh, fucking done. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag red lights. <laughs> hashtag stunt cock. <laughs> hashtag orgasmo. That's so bad. I can't even dig right now. Hashtag Valvini. Hello. Ooh, it is freaky. Ooh. That was that was funny. That was funny. That yeah. made me happy. Big I, apologize. No I apologize to the audience. Um, who may or may not know who Evan Stone is, but you'll know by the end of the night. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Don't Find Google it. For more I'm a fan of his work. Slide in. <laughs> He's lived a good life. We slide. Yeah, we slide. Hashtag uh, bike club with the penguin. There it is. I blew it all on that, didn't I? I, I? I destroyed it all. Like it's all it's all over. Like the videos That's are back. The, no, the, no, game, no, bro. Yeah. Three, hashtag three you, my you know what? You know what? Worth it. Totally worth funny. it. No, absolutely yeah, worth it. That was it. hilarious. But um, you know, you <laughs> saw how those purple imposters reacted yeah. on uh, shooting the shelf before we even did our first show. So yeah, it's it yeah. awkward. Yeah, yeah. It happens. Yeah. Hey, I'll do a giveaway if you want. If you want to, uh, if I can redeem myself with that. Oh, okay. You want to give away something? We won't stop you. Okay. Um, you want to, Curtis? You want to share this? Uh, that slide right there. Oh, you got a slide. There you go. Ooh. Metallic print of the um, Noble Bear, Bodvar, and Atlas is oh, yours, yeah. along with maybe something else. Maybe maybe I'll throw something else in there too. Figure something else. How do we screw the audience out of this? Uh, I'm not going to share the hashtag until we enter it. Oh, okay. And then, we, <laughs> and then, and then immediately it. spin the wheel. I like the way you work. All the out of this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, all right. Here's the hashtag right here. Woo. Hashtag Evan Stone. You have to do. No. Light. Okay. You don't have to do that. Moratorium. I can't spell that. It's cool. Just look at how I spell it. Dude. It's a real word. It might be. Just copy and paste. Yeah. You can't do that from my phone. If you texted it to me, I could. Ooh, it looks like we have one entry. Let's go ahead and spin this. <laughs> Damn you, Curtis. Damn you. Spin it quick. Go. <laughs> right. Curtis. Curtis getting in there. Unreal. Right. Man, it feels right. If I entered, I entered. Let me see. I'll, I'll check it for you. I'll spell check it for you. Blue light moratorium. It's close enough, buddy. Yeah, I'll take close enough. It's close enough. We're shoes and hand grenades, right? We're shoes and hand grenades, body odor, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, too close for comfort. Hmm. Wow, that's really it's sweet of you, Trevor. We, of... we greatly appreciate that. Um, hey, Trevor, you yeah, know, man. Yeah, no. 500, 500 light, uh, followers is a, is a big thing, man. It's, it's, it's good. You guys are doing great. We're lucky that we have nothing better to do than to create uh, Gmail accounts and subscribe to our own channel. Yeah, we're like 476 mm. of our subscribers. Exactly. Like, whatever you got to do, man. You got to, you know, fake it till you make it. In the yeah, army, right? What they really pre. What do you think, Mr. Beast is doing? Mr. Beast is just spending his day like creating like email. You know, yeah, I mean, my, my son and, and subscribing to his own. Come on, millions of. Come on, please. He doesn't got millions. <laughs> Logan was talking shit to us today and. And explaining to us how we don't have as many subscribers as Mr. Beast. And I mean, he was, my seven year old was going hard on us, dude. <laughs> but little does wow. Logan know that Jimmy's going to be our guest next week. So shout out Mr. Beast if you're watching. Let us know in the comments. Uh, we appreciate I think he's you giving away one of your bars today a million mm. dollars on the Purple Gang Gang Live. 
There you go. Spread out over the next 10 years. There it is. Yeah, you can't brag to anybody under the age of like 30 about your uh, subscribers on YouTube because they'll just, uh, well, they will roast you. They'll roast you. I answer him because I know. And I'm, so I'm like trying to name drop, you know, D Amazing has over 100,000. Well, that's not as many as Mr. Beast, Daddy. <laughs> Shut up, little boy. Listen, you're doing shit. Yeah. <laughs> How many yeah. have you got? <laughs> you gonna pay some bills around here? Damn it, Logan, put your pants on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> jump down all 14 stairs at one time. Mm -hmm. uh, hashtag I learned, Martin. I learned it from watching you. Pretty much. We say that a lot around here, Trevor. We really do. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> we learned that. It resonates throughout this house. If he mm. if he's ever out of pocket, it's just yeah. like, come on, bro. Yeah, you're come his mother. You did <laughs> this. You brought. Yeah, this he can he can go down twenty five stairs while eating a cookie or two too. Yeah, probably, uh, Mr. Beast. If you're watching, let us know if you can jump down twenty five stairs while you're eating cookies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, or wow. candy bars. There's already uh, 62 entries, so let's go ahead and spin this. Speaking of 62 entries, if you're still with us at this moment, please hit that like button. Not not necessarily for me, not necessarily for Jordan, not necessarily for Trevor, but for the algorithm that that threatens me with physical harm if, if we don't hit X amount of likes. And uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Beast on Nolan's account right now. There he is. You're a real one, Jimmy. We appreciate you for, uh, you know, popping Check on to Nolan's uh, YouTube. The and, little guys. Uh, throwing hey, the shout out. Guys, do before we... Culture. Before we spin this, I got a question for Trevor, if you don't mind. Please. Um, so on Legion's Lounge, he's go. very famous for saying uh, to hit that like button because it lets people know that you're on. How oh. does that work exactly? Yeah. Can you explain that for us? Uh, as far as I know, when you hit the like button, if if, the, if you've got a live and you've you're, you've got a lot of likes, um, it just kind of like pops it up into people's, uh, you know, if you've got any kind of like interest in in what we're talking about um it's going to pop it up on somebody's uh, live uh, i don't know if it's in your general um uh, view but like if you go to like who's live it, it might pop it up there so interesting there you okay Thank you. yeah you heard along it. with people who think the earth is flat and other things so it's what it's going to be tough think the earth is flat? shout out nikon cameras for proving the earth is flat what <laughs> I don't know. That was just like uh, some of my trolley comments that carried over from uh, live chats. That was chats. good. That was good. One of the best videos I've seen is like the, there was a, there was guys. It's on TikTok somewhere, but there was there was these three or four guys who were going to prove that the Earth was flat by setting up like multiple uh, points for a light to go through, like a laser or something like that. And when they did it, the laser dropped where they were, and and just they were video. You know, they were recording themselves, and they were like, oh. Huh. <laughs> Literally destroying their entire. Uh, uh, oh, look at that. Balloons. Nice. Destroying their entire uh, uh, premise uh, right there. It's great. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, something about vaccines. I have gotten sucked into those videos, though, man. Just watching. It's hard not to. You, you really watching people just like argue about this stuff and and like yeah 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 that that guy in in Nebraska with the balloon like he totally like you know like the you know super weird flat hill to die on. All I got. Yeah. It's yeah yeah right yeah exactly your hill itself is flat. Bro, like, is this really like what you wanna you know you wanna meet Jesus? saying that the world's flat that's the last thing you want to be like uh saying not me mm. even jesus i think is stupid what hurts me though is like i i have i have friends that are flat earthers and i have to why I, they got that know. nikon power shot bro and they can <laughs> you know like the range on those things and just you go out to the ocean wait, wait, wait. Out where to are the, you again <laughs> right now rollsville north carolina Missouri? oh i thought he was in missouri it's basically Missouri. Or right that, here. You know, that's that, that education well. there. So yeah, yeah. it's Ache, one in the same. Akio doggy. We're like 48th in the country. Mm. Yeah. Shout out Billy Beige for being 49th and 50. <laughs> he got them both. Blue light moratorium. You got 13 seconds. One Mississippi. 13, 12, Wait, two, oh, shit. one. That button. Go. If I don't see my name, I know you cheated. Oh, we always cheat. Oh, I saw my name. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, that was so close. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. no. Uh, Tanya's already got one. She literally won one on my oh. show. <laughs> you got you to respin. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's up to you, Tanya. It's your prize. Yeah, you can do what you want. Tanya. If you want to give it away on your show, you can give it away on your show. We if you want to give it away on your show, can I just have it? We absolutely love yeah. Tanya. She'll keep it. She yeah, will cherish it. Absolutely. It's, it's one lovely, six yeah. shooter print, bro. Yeah. Those McCoys, man, they win everything. They're everywhere. It's the McCoys Pizza. and the Gonzalez's. They just got a they got a lock. Yep. Hatfields, where are you at right now? Yeah, really. Where's the Hatfields? Yes, Tanya. No, we, we love Tanya. We love Absolutely. Kevin. We love the Legions ladies. Yep. Hashtag Legions ladies. We you know, they're wholesome. And uh, I think Tanya is actually going to be on the Legion's Lair this Tuesday at uh, yes. 7, 7, 15, 7, 30. They always advertise what time they're going to start. But in the past uh, eight weeks, they've never started at the time they've advertised. Mm -hmm. So once it hits about 7 p.m. Tuesday, Eastern Daylight Savings Time, um, go ahead and just get on Facebook and hit that F5 refresh button. That's what I'm doing. It'll come eventually. That's what I'm doing. And a uh, big shout out to our homie, Brad. Brodor of Bjorngar, he's going to be on our homie show tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. The Latin Legions with Eds and Tony and the other wonderful hosts of this show. Great people all around. They uh, they embrace the purple and we're here for them. But uh, they're going to have their very first ever live uh, co-host slash guest on the show. Nice. And that's our homie Brad. So definitely tune in tomorrow night at 6 p.m. YouTube latin dot legions on youtube and uh i'm gonna catch us back up on some giveaways here and we okay. have i'm gonna go pee so i'll be right back fresh out Do of it. tax evasion he's back here to give you a prize he's a marvel knight and uh that's a long biography that i don't feel like you know what i will destined to hunt vampires and destroy the evil of the world blade is a vampire human hybrid with the greatest strengths of each and then it just goes into foreign languages that i'm not gonna you know butcher for you he's gonna do some great things what kind of great things um uh, murdering vampires this is the one that came out uh you know yeah, third quarter last year this is a hard one to find i never actually saw it in stores i think he was like fan channel he never went on clearance anywhere that so, explains uh, it let's go ahead and start this uh next giveaway here hashtag jersey devil i would have gone with wesley you would have or yeah. tax evasion that Ooh. should have been the perfect one to hit there it is but go ahead and drop hashtag jersey devil in the comments what else he got in here now that i'm looking at what's that was there a build figure or something yeah, it has the uh, the big uh, mindless one. So mindless he's got the one. mindless one's head. He has no ginger beard, so is he really mm -hmm. mindless? Nope, nope. Let us know in the comments. It's a badass figure, y'all. How badass is it, though? Quite badass. Got stakes, extra hands, a sword. Wait, how does Big Dub feel? How does that make you feel, Big Dub? <laughs> My loin. Moy. Yo, if it makes Big Dub's loins moist, I'm entering Imagine this uh, giveaway too. Are we gonna do it? Yeah, I didn't. You know, I didn't want to give this away, but uh, mm. if I have a chance of winning it, I'm all for it. I just know my son will steal it. So no, he's not taking it. I'm gonna steal it before he can. Okay, good job. Oh wow, there's already 832 entries into this one. Yep, and, and I hope of those 832 entries that they are subscribers because in order to be eligible for a win, you have to subscribe to the channel and please hit that like button. Uh, hey guys, sorry for the delay. I know you had asked me for a picture earlier, and Jesse was ignoring my PMs, but he finally answered them. Uh, so here is that head that we were talking about earlier on a brute scale. Wow, glorious! So. Wow, this is a Jesse paint job. Yeah, that is a Jesse paint job that he uh, showed off at MesquiteCon. Wow. Looks Jesse, great, Jesse. Jesse is inspirational, and I really... I wish that I had Jesse's basement. 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 Exactly. So I really I wish it. that I had Jesse's basement. And uh, if you've ever watched our show before, you know we love Jesse. Take that bear. Oh, I mean, my bear. Yeah. Oh, 
just kills him. <laughs> yep, yep. There you go. That's one for you. Yep. Yeah. So, Jesse, we love you. We love your goats. We love your paint jobs. Thank you so much, Curtis, for getting that photo pulled up for us. You're a real one. You're a kingmaker, as some say. Mm, you mm, are maker uh, of kings. the magic. You are the Mickey Mouse from Fantasia that just orchestrates and makes sure that, uh, you know, we don't die live on stream. Shout out Billy Beige. Curtis, okay. you're a real one. Mm -hmm. Oh, what else we got? The real one has not been found. Oh, hey. Oh, he's back. Oh, hey, Trevor. I love that clip. That's my favorite clip. Well, that and uh, that and um, the I'll lizard. Oh, the lizard. Which which one is he talking about? Lizard. I don't know what Trevor's talking about with I'm the sure. lizard. Nate uh, lizard. Nate. Nate, Nate lizard. Who? Nate strong. I will continue making my army of lizard men. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know what's phenomenal about that is it actually plays on a loop from every Alexa device in my house 24-7. Wow. I was going to say, that's been responsible for some sleepless nights on my part. So, uh... And uh, we're actually taking uh, interviews for new producers uh, right into my hands. Keep it, keep it coming, Curtis. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I don't have a goat, though. <laughs> wow. Wow. So handsome. Wow. Oh. Cook, crack. Oh, That's mom. what you're all smoking. Wait, <laughs> is there a giveaway going on right it now? There's real tears coming out of my eyes, y'all. Oh, that's good. Yep. That's good. Oh, oh yeah. Shots. You going to spin it? Yeah, I was going to spin it. Spin and then... It. uh. Spin it to win it. And then uh, Evan Stone popped up on the screen again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably not the last we'll see of him. Oh, goodness gracious. Where's the Jesse damn beard at? I'm going to put that know. on for it's, the rest of this episode. It's over there by the attic door. Kenpool collects. Kenpool does collect. But who collects the Kenpool? I collect the Kenpool. Kenpool? That's the rumor. Kenpool, we know where you live. We've seen where you sleep. Also, uh, grass to the Kenpool on the uh, Otho. Hell yeah. 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 I was tickled that, that Kentville uh, came up on that because now, now mm -hmm. I know people at, at HeroesCon. Yeah. That was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Kentville. Uh, it's like when he won, I won. <laughs> it's <Kimple>. great. <laughs> so, so, Trevor, um, did they already yep. send you the Otho uh, version 2.0 to photograph already? Or you're going to get that like probably like midsummer to photograph for Legion's Con? Or is that probably going to be like a month or two before? Uh, probably before you know it. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. No, I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Will you photograph that before or after the dragon? Why not have him riding a dragon? That's good. That's a good call out right there. That's good. I like that shot. Hey, hey, heard it here first. What if Otho is the dragon? Damn. What if the dragon's blue and and Otho's tabard's blue? What if Otho's the dragon? What if the dragon figure comes with a Rick tribute figure riding him? Rick Sanchez. Soul bonding. Hashtag soul bonding for the next giveaway. Oh. With the two toys that Van's playing with that he actually just pulled out of his pants. Yep. Um, if you don't want them because of that reason, no big deal. So uh, we have, uh, I don't even know if I'm saying this correctly, best action. We have a Sasuke Uchiha from uh, Naruto Shippuden. And then we have Ong from uh, the Avatar. M. Night Shyamalan movie yeah. uh, about some Avatar figures, not the... The Netflix live action the blue is actually cat dope. Movie. Yep. You guys watching the Netflix version of that? I watch it. I like it. I haven't watched um, any 
the shows in a long time, but I intend to because I love the IP from Last Airbender. Yeah, yeah, my, it's 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 not bad. Yeah, it's pretty there. good. <laughs> so go ahead and drop a hashtag. Trevor said Otho is a dragon for your chance to win these uh, BSP AXN Avatar Naruto figures. We're gonna give everybody an hour to type that in, so don't worry right. about it. That's cool. You got time. We've actually maxed out the uh, characters for hashtag giveaways, and it's uh, <laughs> I was gonna say. not enough people talk about Brett. Two T's. Oh, that's it? That's all yeah, you got? Not enough people talk? Okay. All right. Yeah, you can't do Stoddard photography at the end. Mm -hmm. So I knew uh, Trevor said uh, Otho is a dragon would absolutely fit because we've been testing this for uh, 12 mm. weeks. So speaking of tests. That's uh, what you've been doing. Yes, okay. sir. Have it's all you, been testing. Have you been Good. testing out um, any purple stuff, any purple toys, any purple photography? Uh, yeah, maybe once I enter things? this giveaway. One of, the uh, and one of our giveaways. Well, I mean, hey, listen, I got, uh, you know, I got, I got Thrace right here. Like, uh, I'm really loving Thrace. So, just looking even more purple here. I don't know why the, I don't know why this looks like it's two different colors though. That's weird. I'm not really sure. That's weird. Maybe you should have a 60 second monologue. <laughs> oh yeah. Here's the thing. Okay. Monologue time. Um, the reason things look, uh, you know, like the capes look like different colors on, on the photos is because they're shiny. You see how that's purple. And like, if you put like, Ooh, you see that red light over there, that, that yellowish warm light that makes it purple. The cool light makes it blue. Here's another light over here. Wait a minute. Hang on. And that looks a little more purple. Yeah. Uh, light affects things, kids. Um, that's how it works. Cool light, warm light. There ain't no blue light. It's just cool and warm. Um, that's all I'm using. What happens when you mix blue lights with red lights, Trevor? Uh, I don't know, because yellow and blue, as Curtis taught us, makes, pur makes purple. So I'm going to say that's green. I don't know. I failed color th theory, so I'm not really sure. I don't know. I mean, you wanted, to, you wanted to be a comic book artist, and you're just making that's do. right. So yeah, I, not a colorist though. I don't want to be a colorist. Just to just, I just want to draw the pictures. Well, I can, thing I, I know, leave, I'll leave the color to somebody else. Yeah, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Purple. 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 Um. Yeah. So Van asked me a question a little bit earlier, and uh, purple toys and customs and other purple stuff. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, what do we got here? Oh my goodness gracious! That's not purple. Oh my goodness! Look at look at his bow tie on the back. Oh, of his, okay. On the second and third photos, Trevor. It's a cool head. What is that from? It's a uh, it's a head. It's a vampire head. It's from uh, Dan Tobin's mind. Get out of this head. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I like separation on the hair strands. And guess what? We're gonna go ahead and give away this head with the current giveaway. For hashtag Trevor said Otho is a dragon. This was going to be a completely separate giveaway. Is it doubling down? I guess so. Huh? You know, Bojangles has those new bird dogs. They're like, uh, what, what, are, like what are these? I don't know. There's like like fried chicken, like corn dogs with pickles or something. You get Shut like two up. for five dollars. Where are they at? I don't know. Uh, you say Bojangles? Bojangles. We'll yeah. go there They're called bird dogs. So uh, everybody that. that doesn't have a Bojangles around them, maybe make Sorry a road trip. Sorry, yeah. Uh, maybe you can make a trip down to Ishcon, August 3rd, uh, Durham, North Carolina. Ishcon's going to give everybody a bird dog. That's what that's, I'm hearing. That's not true. That, they're bird limited. dogs for everybody. They're limited. They might not be around still He'll make by them. August. He'll make them himself. Ish is a phenomenal cook, y'all. He is. Mm -hmm. He's got a beautiful soul. Yep. And he makes delicious meats. Mm -hmm. Shout out Ishwar. Man does sling mate. So, yeah, we're going to give away this absolutely beautiful head sculpt that our great friend Dan Tobin of Dobin Customs actually painted up uh, with this beautiful purple bow tie on the back. If you love vampires, if you don't like vampires, this head is pretty much uh, multiversal. And if you win, you will need to message the Purple Gang Gang Prize for your best action figures and also reach out to Dan Tobin for your head sculpt. That is correct. You'll have two packages coming your way. Doesn't that sound wonderful? That is pretty wonderful. And Curtis, like that's that. that's very valid. Um, We're going to come been, back to that. There mm -hmm. has been a lot of talks about the uh, mysteries of mythos, and you actually had a wonderful post that you posted in the Cabal yesterday, or maybe the day before, was your 
great understanding of time and space, um, you know, factions, banners, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Real quick before I let you get into this, nobody's really mentioned the Legions of Light or the Legions of Dark with these. Mm -hmm. um, that's all the only input that I have as far as the colors that go along with this. What mm -hmm. do you got? Um, well, my theory was that it, the, just going by the purples and the blues, which if you look at the old banner set, um, there's a couple of different hues of purple for, uh, uh, Necronominus. No, uh, yeah. Necronominus and, uh, Alithia's, uh, brood. So, uh, and then, the I forget who had the blues. Um, but anyway, they, they, they kind of matched up to the colors of the flags, except that there was no white, which is Etheron, which is unusual but there were yellow which there is no yellow banner necessarily but there is a yellow button that has uh Rhaegor's dragon uh symbol on it so i don't know i mean uh, sometimes i don't ask things just so i can speculate i have a yeah. show yeah. i like to participate sometimes instead of sitting back and watching my two co-hosts just talk about things in the, in the chat uh, so I didn't ask, so I'm kind of going where everybody else is going. Uh, at first I thought maybe it's just like a real close pixelated picture of something, you know, that, you know, when, once we zoom out, you know, like a you know, sure. thousand yards, we'll see something. But, uh, I think it has to do with colors. My uh, money I just is don't know what it means. Simmons tribute figure. What is it? Uh, my money's on a Richard Simmons tribute figure. I've really been pitching that idea to Eric every time I see him. Do you think the colors correspond to short colors that Richard has worn? Dazzling ass sequins. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This mm -hmm. is a real tight shot of a sequin. Like it's, it's got the full spectrum yeah. of colors. Exactly. Could be. Could be. Cross your eyes really hard. It could happen. Yep. But, yep. you know, yeah. back to the colors and the banners and all that stuff, you know, I haven't seen a single person mention legions of light or legions of dark and i know mm. everybody's kind of like leaning extremely heavily towards the all stars plus 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 with the 36 different options like we had two years ago and then slightly less options last year we definitely feel like it's all stars right but like mm, with, the, with the color patterns nobody's mentioned the two that have most recently come up but really don't have a an option to be voted on Oh. That's kind of where I'm going. What about a, a crayon before pack of crayons? No, it no. could be. Mm. Yeah, I think outside of the box. But don't do. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Leodiceus has only has one representation on the grid, though, in red. So, um, what's your favorite yeah. faction? You already know. Mm -hmm. You already know. I know. I wanted to have you him know. Say it. Know. Say it. Yeah. You, say know. It. you know. Leodiceus, baby. Yeah. yeah. Leodiceus well, for life. All day long. We know that. Hashtag lion. Hashtag I'm a Leo. Nice. Hashtag Evan Stone. Uh, were we doing a giveaway here? We were doing a giveaway. Let's go ahead and uh, spin, spin this. 30 people. Come right on. Because we probably have more giveaways to do. We do. Shout out um, this fancy Rubik's Cube. Uh, Mysteries of Mythos. If anybody knows the answers. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> You can't win twice, my friend. He's on fire. Good job, Kimpool. Kimpool. Go buy a lotto ticket. Really? Powerball was just spun. I should probably check my tickets. After uh, the show. Make it. You can stick that hat on your Otho, man. That would look great. Yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. You'd like that, just, wouldn't you? Just throw you that play? Otho hat in the drawer or something like that. Don't worry about it. Exactly. Nobody needs that. That's what I would do. Just Nobody send it this that. way. Yeah. Like, Kent, you know what's up, brother? We got you covered on the last giveaway. We're going to go ahead and draw this again. Who's going to win? I'm going to laugh. If Kim Pool wins it again, he's getting it. How about that? Yeah, I like that. That's fair. That's three in a row. Mm -hmm. oh. Chuck a luck. Right, who wins? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Chuck a luck, a luck, a luck, a luck. Congrats. Message the Purple Gang Gang page and message uh, Dan Tobin. In order to get your prizes, just message us. We'll pass on all of your yep, information to is. our sweet That's friend Dan. Yep, uh, don't gotcha. don't bother him. I wanted he to make is, it difficult, uh, but now I won't. His his time is extremely valuable. He is running one of the greatest uh, sub faction groups on Facebook. Malignancy? Shout out the malignancy. Speaking of time being precious, I believe you spent some time painting a precious 
head to go with this mythic legions i did look i didn't I gladiator spent, legion builder and he'll finish it tomorrow but he started it today. yeah i spent like an hour on this earlier right before the show started i got is that a purple i kind of gladiator head? i kind of got a little manic and i'm like yo we need to give away a head to go with this basic ass gladiator so it's like a purple uh gladiator head that i'll finish tomorrow during the customizing studio at 1 p.m sponsored by wolf kings wah, 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 wah. buddy pa just might have printed that for me oh pete's prince and customs printed this dope yep. uh, gladiator with a purple helmet shout out um, to pete didn't have a star wars joke tonight but i did have a mention yeah um trevor do you have any great star wars jokes let us star wars jokes damn it hmm um no i don't have a star wars joke I, I can i can look up a star wars joke if you'd like yes we would like that we'd appreciate it greatly right. thank you Trevor. why did episodes four five and six come out before one two and three because in charge of directing yoda was ha ha because oh. he like i like that know, yeah no, no. that's a bad joke i appreciate yeah. that no, that's what's yeah. up yeah. yeah that's a joke what do you want was no, that no, the first I, one I Google impressed. hit you with, or are you on like Bing or something? Uh, I just pulled that out of my ass. So I have no idea. No, no, no. I did. He made that joke himself. Trevor, go ahead and show that Star Wars joke. Where did Chewbacca upload the Death Star plans? There it is. You should. Wookie leaks. Wookie leaks. Oh Wookie shit! Leaks. Shout out Edward Snowden. Yo. Shout out Google. Uh, yeah, so uh, to win this absolutely dope Mythic Legions Gladiator Builder with this uh, Pete's Prince Gladiator Head. And hopefully we're still getting all the screenshots of the hashtags as well as the winners. Even if we don't, we'll watch it tomorrow. We'll but shout it, out yep. to our homie G who volunteered to help us with this while we know he has a busy night. He does. And, and first and foremost, shout out to G. Echevarria. Shout out to his whole family. His Sweet. wife, Monica, absolutely wonderful and beautiful in every single way. Yes, He's got the greatest kids, Yeah. period. Yeah. Purple brain brain. Yo. Raising them right. Big shout out to our 500 subscriber. Like, you made our day, bro. And guess who that was? That was, it. That was one of G's boys. What? All day long. So, we love you. We appreciate your support. We can't wait to see you again. We love every opportunity we have to spend with you and your family, G um you know you're a real one bro so if you don't have the screenshots true. True. no big deal we'll watch it again tomorrow we know there's a lot of important stuff going on tonight with the kayfabe not like there's any kayfabe going on on our show tonight mm -hmm. it's you all know real. our kayfabe's not nearly as good as cody rhodes mm -hmm. whoever that is yeah, not, american dream mm -hmm. gold dust uh, yeah i know gold dust you know stuff like that but uh you have five seconds to enter this contest otherwise i win it Hashtag Pete Sprints. Pete Sprints. Pete Sprints. Pete's Prince and Customs. And uh, just to clarify, this is actually a Pete's Prince head uh, donated by the wonderful Tatted Toy Dude from Instagram. So big shout out. If you're on Instagram, check out Tatted underscore toy underscore dude. He does a lot of great photography with Richard Simmons. Mm -hmm. Lots of purple stuff. He's a great human being. Mm. And shout out to Pete's Prince for... Uh, Sending that head to Tatted Toy Dude after he purchased it. So, y'all both real ones. We love you. And uh, we painted that up, too. So, big deal. Big deal all around. Big money, no whammy. There we go. 45 entries. And it's probably a good time to spin this because we got 37 more giveaways tonight. <laughs> Come on. Hold some more luck. It's ah, nice. And Hardo de Jesus. If you're going to be at Ishcon, let us know. Uh, if you're going to be at Legion's Con, we'd rather mail it to you. Just hit us with that address. Yes. Uh, yeah. Eds, shoot us a DM. Uh, and speaking of Eds, we mentioned it earlier. Check out Latin Legions tomorrow night at 6 p.m. with their very first guest, Brad Jones with the Titty Pauldrons. He's our Brother. homie, too. So many homies all around, but Ed's is a great human being. He's purple gang gang through and through. Absolutely happy to send you this uh, 
purple gladiator head once I finish painting it. And I don't feel bad now about it looking super dope because even if I send you a shitty painted head, bro, I know you've got the skills to touch it up and yes, make it your Lord. own. And I don't get offended if people have to paint over my bullshit. So, Eds, do what you want with the head. Keep do what you want with the gladiator. Like bro, humble, recognize humble. Big shout out to Eds. Big shout out to Latin's Legions. Y'all rock. What's in the box? What's oh my, in the box? Oh, my goodness gracious. I believe this is an SDCC GI Joe classified color changing Zartan. What? If you don't believe it, there you go. It's sealed. If it's not in there, you can get with Hasbro Pulse because I've never opened the box. It went into another box that went into a closet, and I dug in that closet, and I found this for you guys. Yeah, um, so let's go ahead and start and that uh, giveaway here for Hashtag Dr. Brent Bender. Hashtag Dr. Brent Bender. <laughs> that That's great. Yeah, that just came off the top of my head right oh, there. did that. Yeah, that was good. That was Dr. Brent, Dr. Brent, Dr. Brent, Dr. Brent, Dr. Brent, Dr. Brent, Dr. Brent. So hashtag Dr. Brent Bender. No relation to the dentist action figure that we're giving away tonight. Mm -mm. It's apparently a hard to acquire one that uh Van pulled out of his butthole. Mm. AKA mm -hmm. box in my closet. It's still uh, in the original shipping box. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about the smell once you mm -mm. unbox it. It's still mm -hmm. warm too, though. It's still, yep, warm. still warm. Absolutely. Yeah, still warm. you you can you can pose it straight out of the box. Those joints never got cold. That's right. Oh my goodness! Did we already enter this one? I did. Yeah, I don't want to give this away. What's wrong yeah. with people? <laughs> Yo, the, I'm going to enter it again. Those GI Joe and censored people are going to be upset that they went to bed early. Yeah, they're too busy posting. Have uh, you won your own giveaway yet? Have you? Has that happened? Yeah, no, it waiting. hasn't happened yet. We're waiting. Mm, okay. We're not sure way. how to address it if it ever happens, but if it happens, I think you just keep it. I agree. I would Screw keep it, and I would give it away to somebody that I want to give it away to. That's probably how it would actually happen once it once it go. happens happens. But I've entered every single giveaway that we've done, which is like over eight thousand, kind of like Van's power level. Basically. Still haven't won yet. No, it's over nine thousand. Oh shit, that's yeah. too high for me. I think bro. you should save them and then, like in the middle of the night at Legion's Con, just throw them on the floor and just let people just fight over it. At, at, you mm. know, like about one o'clock in the morning. Why don't we just break them? Ooh, Do I want the Ooh, snap. Run them. Gang. There you go. I've never snapped a toy with Curtis Ackerman and uh, mm. Tanya slash uh, Jonathan Hedgehog. Oh yeah, edgy folks there. You know. Because Jonathan snapped that uh, Roman Reigns on behalf of Tanya, on behalf of Curtis. Very mm. exclusive club. Um, you got any toys nearby I can break? I want to join this club so bad. Mm. Yes, if you reach behind you there, behind that Brett Sarch photography, there's a green box that you can pull a toy out of there and break oh, it. Oh, wow. Some of my customs. Mm -hmm. Good look, Van. Let's had go ahead quick. and give away this hashtag Dr. Brent Bender. Because we have 37 more giveaways after this one. Trevor's like, I didn't sign up for this shit, guys. And Trevor, we need to leave at any point. That's absolutely cool. Mythic Heathens Podcast. Yes. Shout out, Corey Schwarzenhofer. Congratulations. Our wonderful nice, guest. Nice, Corey. Two weeks ago, the absolutely talented himself. human being. And speaking of him, I've got like 38 different slides. Talented and generous. Yeah, didn't he? Good dude. Yeah. So I actually met up with uh, Corey earlier today. It was at a uh, pot festival in Michigan. I was dressed up like a wizard before I shaved my beard. Uh, that's Corey on the left. That's me on the right. Absolutely rad dude all around. Um, he mentioned to us two weeks ago when we were at Toilena when he was live on our stream that uh, he might be on Legion's uh, lounge before we know it. Uh, Trevor, have you already scheduled him a date by chance? Uh, not yet. Not, he's been on the show, but not yet. Not yet. We'll get him on. Well, we're here for it. And we're happy to, uh, to, uh, you know, plug it, get you on in that wizard costume though. That'd be cool. Uh, that'd it's be dope. sexy. It's dope. Yeah. No, um, the purple shirt, the blue hat, you know, blues, purple adjacent. So I rocked it. And I you did wear a, a wizard costume at, at Legion's con, didn't you? 
Mm, I wore a bear costume. I wore shiny purple pants. I don't think you I didn't actually, bring your robe. I wore that underneath the bear costume. I was supposed to have another dude dressed like a wizard bear, oh, but he kind of like he took the day off, smashed his head on a nightstand the night before, Shit. and left me all by myself. Oopsie! So uh, I was there with you in spirit. You were there with yeah. me in spirit, but yeah, Oof. big shout out Corey. Um, he, we actually Nightmare this field. is the first time that uh he actually sent this package <laughs> right after Toylana. Uh, I actually saw it for the first time today. I'm like, yo, this is so dope. Yeah, Let me go that, and give a that shout. Is dope. Out Corey. That SpongeBob was so like jarring when you opened yeah. the box and saw it. it it was like this photograph please believe me it does not do it justice the spongebob That's... is bad as shit yeah sponge oh. beelzebub is what that yeah, exactly. is man. That's... oh it's it's so like grimy looking too i mean Corey killed it on the paint apps yeah belfagor move over and yeah. this retro rags uh shout out motu joe super dope uh motu i, I want to say that's a jeremy dewitt design Fear and loathing pen. This was at mm. MuskyCon. I'm like, yo, how much is this pen? I need this pen. Uh, Corey out of nowhere, being just like the great dude he is, slid into my DM, says, hey, bro, I got you that pen. Fucking dope. Love you, nice. bro. That was my one. Speaking of Corey, he also sent us these super dope, uh, kind of like Poxis vibey heads. Right, yeah. From our Toy Lana show. Um, I threw him on a Nightcrawler body, you know, Kurt Wagner. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. Perfect. The Catholic Church, super dope all around. <laughs> um, Corey posted up this super dope purple barbarian builder uh, early this week in the purple gang gang group group. If you got any purple art that you want to share, anything that's purple, period. Hashtag purple gang. Those yeah. skin tones. Very nice. Yeah, right? man, he does great work all around. He painted in like three minutes and 20 seconds. I know. He tells me that. He's like, yeah, it's 10 minutes. It was 10 minutes. Dude, I mean, when he was on our show, he was straight just busting them out. Yeah, yep. he actually. He painted 72 heads uh, during our, our two-hour show at yeah. Toyland. Amazing. So, Amazing. Corey, bro, share some of that blue meth. Um, what else we got here? She's got Guinness oh, on wow. that, man. Yeah. This right here is actually another Corey custom. He shared with me slightly before the show started this absolutely amazing orc custom with the dope fur loin piece and the the cool broken horn and the full horn and uh just absolutely love it all around um let's see here what, what do you got oh you want to do another giveaway now i do i do i want to give another gift goodness he wants to do another giveaway all right so this is completely sealed um but is i got a mezco it is a mezco this is a black skull death brigade. Death brigade, uh, yeah. This is a, uh, yeah. This is a customizer's wet dream. You know, as far as mescos are concerned, very versatile figure has a lot of accessories in there. Um, just a badass figure. I mean, you can do a lot with it. Um, you don't have That's to. Cool. Black skull, yeah. Love these guys. You have 18 seconds to type in hashtag cornboy daddy for your chance to win this Mesco Black Skull in one two. I was gonna go with blackhead, but that's that's good too. We can't we can't do that, Trevor. And I'm so glad you didn't wear blackface tonight because we would have had to ask What? To... No, 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 no. Get it's off. a pimple for God's yeah. what are you it's talking good. about? Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. What did I hear? What did Lord you say? Lord forgive him. He was struck in the head. He's got a traumatic good brain. Injury. God man. Oh, my God, so we're going to take that off the screen so less people enter. <laughs> and it uh, looks like we have 900 entries. So let's go ahead and spin that. Oh, wow. Shit. People really like saw that that entry. People and they're still are, rolling with it. They're still entering. It's, they're yeah, still entering. They actually want it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Give them some time. I love seeing hashtag cornboy daddy just like too. pop up in the comments every which way. That makes me feel happy. If it makes me feel if cornboy special. daddy is still awake, then then he has an opportunity to win a mesco. We'll see. He loves them mescos. He does. Yeah. No. He actually. That's. Uh, he chimed in in a mesco group. You know, if we're giving away mescos, you know, he'd have to be around for that. And so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we tagged him. If up. I win, I'm going to give it to him. Yeah, he would appreciate that. He's probably got a lot of them. 
I'll, I'll be willing to wager he might have one. But yeah, I mean, it, it's just a fun figure to mess with. It mm -hmm. really is. I like the skulls. I, I, I go in, I, you know, I'll be honest, not, not that anybody asked, but when it comes to Mezcos, the Rumble Society is really my kink. I really, their, their IP, I think, uh, is it, just top notch. It, it's creative, it's weird, and, and, and I'm all about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm weaning off of those, honestly. Like, I don't know. I just don't know what to do with all these Gomez. I got a lot of Gomez. I mean, send them to me. I like the yeah. roaches. I'm just waiting for like dentist Gomez and like, I'd buy them, you know, IRS agent Gomez. And yep. that yeah. was secret agent Gomez. Where I got him. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, the union worker Gomez was a bit like, huh? But I mean, he was. Still yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when that came out, I was like, okay, what's then? It's going to bring barista Gomez and deli Barista's worker Gomez, Gomez. and uh, shout out Starbucks. Yeah, you know. Did you get him though? No, no, I didn't get him. No. No, I mean, he came with some cool stuff, but I'm like, what am I going to do with this guy? I don't know, man. Well, I don't no, know. dude, like seriously, the soft goods on him and all that—he was kind of badass. Like, I, I oh was, no, it looked great, and I've seen some people do some good stuff with him. It just right? doesn't—it just doesn't inspire me. I don't know what to do with him as far as my collection. He's like, uh, I think he's standing Take that off of in, in the diorama with the secret agent, or not secret agent, the Hazard Gomez that came with the dio. I think he's—he's he's posted up with that. Mm -hmm. Um. I was mostly excited about the little grub that had the construction hat, but yeah, that was cool. The grubs are cool. Don't blaspheme, Curtis. Do Don't blaspheme. For, yeah, that that one 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 scale. I'm gonna a one one scale Gomez would be like this big, bro. Ooh, yeah. proctologist Gomez would be good too. Yeah, be like be cool. big, proctologist uh, Gomez. If he has both hands on your shoulders, you have uh -oh. something. To be <laughs> well, he's already he's already got the you know he's got the finger. He's exactly. he's good to go for that man. He's That's a tentacle. I want to kill those your tentacle. tentacle? Yeah, the tentacle. Yeah. Did you get the mech? No, I like the mech itself, but I just didn't like the Mork for Mork Gomez either. Like it just that is too much, man. I don't have room for this stuff, man. I gotta I'm I'm look at this. Look at all this crap. I got I'm booked. Yeah, mine is still behind a my uh dehumidifier in my room. I literally took I'm horrible about that. I'll take a picture of something and it's like doof, go to your space. And Trevor, yeah. you never have room for it with that attitude. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. I need to. I need to. I need to clean up my. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I can find space for it. I, agree. I mean, you could knock over some of those Star Wars figures behind you and just slam a mech right in there. I could. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Mythic Legions are already taking over. You know, so. mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. about. Steve Buscemi uh, special there. Yes, oh, wow. indeed. The man can paint. We were, it's funny, we were trying to figure out a head to possibly give away. That's why Jordan ended up painting one with that, uh, that gladiator. And we're going through like, which one we give. And then like, we pointed at Steve Bouchard. I'm like, no, Steve painted that. We can't give that one away. Oh no, you know, Eric Miller painted this. We can't give, the, oh wait, Dennis Derby painted that. We can't give him that away. Shit. Yeah. Paint something. Yeah. I don't have anything we could just give away. But uh, you could probably take that one six scale tauntaun behind you, take your uh, one one scale lightsaber, oh. cut a seam directly down the center of his uh, Excellent belly. Ideas. You fit a couple of mythic legions in there, yeah. yeah. I was saying, shove the whole uh, mesco mech in there, yeah, sure. Why not? Why yeah. not? And uh, with that being said, corn boy daddy, hashtag corn boy daddy, you got one second. Oh. Who's gonna win? Who's Come gonna on. win? Hold Who's some more gonna love. win? Come on, me. Oh, no. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna? No, <laughs> double winner. Uh, is, that, is that legal? No, not, we gotta draw again. Not. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, no one. We'll see if we can't sweeten your first prize up a little bit because that's disappointing. We're gonna kiss the box before we send it to you. Bum 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 bum. Hold the note. Oh, you dropped it. The chosen, chosen one twelve. I mean that actually perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. 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 So Congratulations. Check out the description. Uh, shoot the official purple gang gang Page, Facebook yeah. group uh, DM proof of subscription. Yada yada yada. Yep. Black skull. Hashtag cornboy daddy. All that good stuff, brother. We'll get it out to you. 
And uh, if you don't want that, you know, go ahead and message Nolan Collects. Maybe he'll trade you his dope prize that he won for your dope prize. <laughs> work it out. We don't know. Yeah. You know, wholesome, recognize wholesome. Are you wholesome? Let us know Speaking in the comments. Speaking of wholesome, I think, uh, do we have a wholesome guest lined up for next week? We do. We have a wholesome guest, and we also have some dope artwork by uh, Dub Dub 3 here. Ah, I love Dub Dub 3. We've got artwork. a dope mm. bomb by Dub Dub 3. We've got a dope purple uh, alien yeah, by like, Dub Dub 3. By the way, Dub Dub um, 3, if you're listening, go back to that purple alien, and that is still in. Dope purple custom by G. I uh, want that. I want that alien. He wants want that alien. alien. Dope purple stuff by uh, our buy homie Kyle Beck. Dive into my DMs. Purple Cobra Cobra. We've got some Carpathias with some vampires and some Canox Foles. We've got some dope purple stuff from our dude uh, Chuck Swearingen, Chucky's Geek Spot. Some uh, practical effects. Shout out Practical Magic. We uh, definitely uh, take notice of your uh, wonderful artwork, bro. Keep it up. We're here hey, for it. Didn't we see that Godzilla yesterday? We did. We actually saw the new Godzilla movie yesterday. Mm -hmm. He went ego which was, mode. Uh, yeah. Extremely fun. There was even a scene where King Kong pocket sanded another kaiju. Go check it out. The theaters. Uh, something, something, something. King Kong X Godzilla. Something, something. New Empire. Yeah, I, I don't really give a shit about the King Kong or Godzilla movies. Like, I, I'm probably gonna get crucified for saying that. Kaiju is just he never, enjoyed it though. He enjoyed I, it. No, that's what I was gonna say. I enjoyed the hell out of that movie. It's mad entertaining, lots of action, lots of cuteness. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff going on in there. It was fun. Yeah, it Brian was. Tyree did a wonderful job. The dude that played Trapper is super good. It was just a fun movie funny. all around. See in the theaters while you can. Yeah, Godzilla's great, man. You gotta yeah. love Godzilla. Have you seen it yet, Trap? I have not seen that one. No, no check it's... it out, man. I still the right. tiny head on that big body messes with me, but yeah. I saw minus one. Minus one was fantastic. But that's what I heard. I never one. saw that one. Yeah, it's great. I, I missed it, but I need to see that. Bring it back to the theaters if you're watching. Maybe one day, Sony. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, our guest next week. Oh my goodness, who is our guest next week? Do we have a guest next week? Trash Panda. Somebody DM us quick. We need a guest for next week. Evan Stone. Uh, he's shout here out, tonight. Shout out Evan Stone. Um, no, but seriously, our guest next week is our homie Dirk. You may have heard us mention his name 2,386 times last week. Tonight. And last week, especially. One of our greatest homies, he actually just had a contest in collaboration with Dwarf Lord Toy Design that ended um, March 31st. So next weekend on Saturday, 9 p.m., our good homie Dirk is going to bring a special guest on with him. We're going to talk about all the entries on the Dirk's custom contest. We're going to talk about some absolutely wonderful Dirk's designs and customs. Maybe some new stuff hitting the pipeline from Dwarf Lord Toy Design. Uh, there's going to be a lot more giveaways. We couldn't possibly fit all 200 giveaways that we have planned for tonight. tonight. So we're going to spread them out over two weeks. So tune in next Saturday, 9 p.m. with our good friend Dirk, Dirk's Designs and Dwarf Lord Toy Design. And we're going to have an absolutely wonderful time. <laughs> Hashtag Pirates, the most... Uh, the Highest grossing adult film of all time, yeah. Biggest budget yeah, adult film of all time. And uh, I, I don't come cheap. Mm -hmm. So uh, slide into my DMs uh, <laughs> next Friday. It'll be official. I actually sign my divorce papers. Uh, you heard me wow. first. I love it. And, uh, that's pretty much what we're talking about. That's pretty much what we're talking about. But, uh, oh, Trevor, gosh. we absolutely love you, brother. We appreciate Thank you, so, you much. so much for joining us. Love you guys, too. Love so, the show. So long, Dan's, he's a little slow. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan, it's great to see you looking like you did back when you were with Winger. So that's, that's really cool. <laughs> She's only 17. Damn it. The jokes keep coming. 17. <laughs> but, uh, you know, real recognize real. Yeah. That's right. So every, Good uh, time, guys. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Um, wait, next week will be hashtag blue light special. Mm, Shout out. Not true. Not true. Shout out to Donald. It's not happening. Hashtag not fucking A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but seriously, we're still yeah. holding on to our moratorium. We for sure are. Jokes. Yeah, tell your producer about that one, will you, please? Can you work we, on that? We, we try. We try. We try. We'll does. talk to Darla because sometimes Curtis yeah. doesn't listen. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Darla. 
Darla and I were going to have a little talk at Legion's Con. We'll hack, sure. we'll hack his Amazon account again and change his uh, default delivery address. Mira's back getting to it all. <laughs> Curtis, you have a certain set of skills, bro. You ain't never. Drone, the drones yet. are intercepting all of your packages until you respect the moratorium on the blue light jokes. I know that's there you right. Go. Yeah, there I know you that's go. Right. absolutely. But Trevor, seriously, let's make red light jokes. You. Yeah. 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 Uh look for the uh, pop and swap rules tomorrow. Uh and then uh, Legion's Lounge on Monday. We're going to do we're going to actually take a look at the uh, two pack Garrich and Gaspar uh figures live and uh talk to Galactic Valor Kickstarter, the guys from Kickstarter and a couple other things and talk about the pop and swap. So it's going to be a good show. We're here for that. And uh, we'll be in the comments tomorrow uh Monday night asking about the red lighting on the uh the two pack for legions mm. Con. Mm. please so, do yeah please do yeah. yeah be prepared for that and the reason I'm, we know you did I, that now just to give everybody a teaser red light plus blue light equals purple light so that's it uh, big, playing the long game we appreciate it big shout out george shout out chris we love your two-pack trevor we absolutely love everything you do curtis thank you so much in the back everybody that tuned in tonight you're the real ones and uh we'll see you next saturday oh, curtis oh, oh. curtis yeah, mm -hmm. can i can i can i just promote a couple things real quick. Um, uh, lottery got got till Thursday, so get it in if you haven't got it in yet. Um, tomorrow, I know you got uh, Van mentioned it, but we got Mirror on uh, shooting the shelf. That should be really fun one. Um, and tomorrow morning, uh, well, you know, one p.m. Uh, customizing studio. Hope to see everybody there. So, thank you. Thank you, Curtis. And thank you for everyone that helped us reach 500. And, you know, let, let's hit that next subscriber goal. And we'll keep digging into it. How does that make you feel, big dog? My loin. Ha 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 